Oklahoma. Today marks the conclusion of the regular season and an opportunity for the Wonder Boys to clinch their first winning basketball season since 2017-18. Southern Arkansas is 18-9 overall and 14-7 and in the GAC. The Mule Riders are locked in a battle with Southeastern Oklahoma State for the number two seed in the GAC tournament. Southern Arkansas is in that position because of its work on the glass and its perimeter shooting. The Mule Riders are tied for the league's best rebound margin, and they are second in the GAC in three-point field goals made this season. Thank you for joining us from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We will step aside for two minutes and then come back with the starting lineups. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. Miller Roofing Company, a family-owned company treating you like family. Who's a part of the Miller family of employees? Bill Casey has a history in the roofing business. Well, I grew up in it, and I've been doing it uh, full-time 38 years. The Millers are just super people, uh, very honest, uh, hard-working people, and it's just it's a family atmosphere, and it was certainly, a, certainly the best move I've made in a long time. Your friends at Miller Roofing, see them on South Arkansas and Russellville, and follow them on Facebook. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family-owned business, and they take care of their customers like family, too. So remember, your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you can always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Five star rating on Google? Check. Climb your tree versus driving in your yard? Check. Top notch front office staff? Check. Tree wise tree guys, tree work experts. Using proven technology and techniques for climbing and rigging your tree removals and trims. Give Jaylen a call today, 479 222 0793. Tree Wise Tree Guys, we'll go out on a limb for you. Farmers Co-op located in Russellville, don't forget their Danville location. Mike Apples along, Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is, and uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animal's needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op, we're located on East Main in Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. This will be the 187th men's basketball meeting between Arkansas Tech and Southern Arkansas. The Wonder Boys lead the series 107 to 79. Earlier this season, though, in Magnolia, it was Southern Arkansas coming away with a 62 to 53 win over Arkansas Tech back on December the 17th. The Wonder Boys shot a season-low 30% from the field in that game. They were 16 of 53 overall, including 6 of 26 from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. And Southern Arkansas out-rebounded Arkansas Tech by a margin of 42 to 31. Southern Arkansas has won the last five meetings in this series. Arkansas Tech's last win over SAU was 66 to 59 here in Russellville back on January the 14th of 2021. The Wonder Boys coming off an 81 to 61 loss at Henderson State on Thursday. The Reddies had a 22 to nine edge in points off turnovers in that one as the Wonder Boys fell to three and seven in their last 10 games. Southern Arkansas had a losing streak of four games before Thursday night. The Mule Riders snapped that with an 86 to 75 win over Washita as Southern Arkansas was 11 of 26 from three point range. They had a plus seven rebound margin and a plus 22 free throws attempted for SAU in the win over Washita on Thursday. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position with the starters in 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. Fellner's Athletes Corner, your high performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel, features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kavu, Keen, and many, many more. Fellers invite you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined experience, the familiar faces at Fellners can help you with all your athletic needs. Fellners Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. 
Welcome back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville as we get you ready for the final basketball game to be played in this building this season. It's between the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys and the Southern Arkansas Mule Riders, and these are today's starters. First for our guests from Magnolia, the Southern Arkansas Mule Riders, 18 and 9 overall, 14 and 7 in the GAC. They are coached by Logan Quinn, who is in his first season as the head coach. He was Andy Sharp's assistant coach the last three seasons before Coach Sharp stepped aside to enter private business after last season. Starting at the guards, Chris Weish, 6'4", senior, Elgin, Texas, 10.1 points, 3.4 rebounds. Blake Rogers, 6'1", senior, Starkville, Mississippi, 10.8 points, 1.7 rebounds. Gregory Hammond, 6'7", junior, New Orleans, Louisiana, 12.4 points, 6 rebounds. And Brock Schreiner, six foot senior, Choctaw, Oklahoma, six points, three rebounds, 2.9 assists. The forward for Southern Arkansas is Latraven Black, a six foot six senior from Shreveport, Louisiana, 11.4 points, 7.6 rebounds, and 1.4 steals. Now the starters for the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys, 14 and 13 overall, 12 and 9 in the GAC. Mark Downey is in his seventh season as the Arkansas Tech head coach. His record with the Wonder Boys is 108 and 85. In 16 seasons as a head coach overall, Coach Downey is 274 and 191. Nathan Kennedy is the lead assistant. He is joined on the staff by Marcus Pillow and Brent Bennett. Starting at the guards, Andre Lavelle, 6'2", sophomore, Canton, Ohio, 9.8 points, 4.7 rebounds, 3.5 assists. Talon Peter, 6'4", sophomore, Russellville, 14.6 points, 5.3 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 1.8 steals. B.J. Johnson, 6'3", sophomore, El Dorado, 6.6 .6 points, 4.3 rebounds, and 1.6 assists. And Darrell Roberts, a 6'7", senior from Dallas, Texas, 6.6 .6 points and 2.2 rebounds. The forward for Arkansas Tech is Nico Gosnell, 6'9", senior, Lone Tree, Iowa, 7.4 points, 3.5 rebounds, and one block shot per game. It's the Wonder Boys and the Mule Riders from Tucker Coliseum at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for 30 seconds and then come back with the opening tip. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. First State Bank is proud to serve our community community made of hard-working friends and neighbors, folks who make our community better. You're why we offer personal helpful service and convenient digital tools. You make our town what it is, deeply rooted, community driven. First State Bank, these are our stomping grounds. Visit fsbmybank.com to learn more. Member FDIC. Back with you at Tucker Coliseum. The starters have been introduced, and it is time for the Wonder Boys and the Mule Riders to get it going for the 187th time. Wonder Boys trying to snap a five-game losing streak in the series. Arkansas Tech 8-4 and four at home this season. As we mentioned, Arkansas Tech can clinch its first winning season since 2017-18. The Wonder Boys were 18-11 and 11 that year. And if the Wonder Boys could win today, it would give them 13 or more wins in GAC play for the first time in six years. The last time the Wonder Boys won 13 or more conference games was back in the 2016-17 season. The Wonder Boys went 16-6 and six in conference play that year and went on to qualify for the NCAA Division II tournament with an at-large bid. The Wonder Boys will wear the home whites, Southern Arkansas, and the road royal blues trimmed in gold. And we are ready for basketball. The opening tip controlled by Southern Arkansas and Brock Schreiner. The graduate transfer from Cameron University gets the Mule Riders into their offense. He has it on the left wing, defended by Andre Lavelle. Feed at the high post for Gregory Hammond. Hammond drives the left side of the lane, cut off by B.J. Johnson. Ball goes back out. Hammond has it again, gets to the rim and draws a foul. It'll be two free throws for Gregory Hammond. The foul on Arkansas Tech is against B.J. Johnson, his first. Team foul number one, and to the free throw line goes Gregory Hammond. Hammond, Southern Arkansas's leading scorer this year at 12.4 points per game, is a 56% free throw shooter. His first try on its way and no good for Hammond. 
Hammond in his first year with the Mule Riders after transferring in from UMass Lowell. He's tied for 10th in the league in rebounding, 12th in the conference in three-point field goal percentage, averaging 16.3 points per game over his last three. And over that span, he's been 8 of 16 from the three-point arc. He goes one out of two at the free-throw line. Southern Arkansas leads one to nothing. Top of the key, Andre Lavelle with the basketball for Arkansas Tech. Man-to-man -man defense for Southern Arkansas. Nico Gosnell pivots, gives left wing for Peter. Back to Nico on a give and go, batted away by Blake Rogers. Stolen for Southern Arkansas by Latraven Black. Mule Riders in transition. Wonder Boys recover defensively. Rogers dribbles out high, gives it up to Brock Schreiner. Schreiner appearing in his 123rd game at the collegiate level. He was an all Lone Star Conference performer for Cameron. He gives it left wing to Weish. And Weish, a career 41% three-point shooter, knocks down his 96th career three to give Southern Arkansas a four to nothing lead with 18.56 to go in the first half. Bounce pass for Gosnell. Nico draws a crowd. Throws it out to Roberts, onto Talon, onto Level, or Lavelle, I should say, in the corner for B.J. Johnson. Johnson drives and throws it away. Pass stolen by Blake Rogers. A couple of turnovers for the Wonder Boys in the early going. Schreiner has it in the front court for SAU. Bounce pass on the baseline for Latraven Black. Black will try a 15-footer, no good. Defensive rebound by Talon Peter of Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys into the front court, down 4 to nothing in the early going. Darrell Roberts, skip pass to B.J. Johnson, out to Andre Lavelle. Lavelle guarded on the right wing by Latraven Black. Goes left into the paint. Gives it up to Gosnell on the left baseline. Out to Roberts. Back to Lavelle. Southern Arkansas's defense has been very good through the first two minutes. Lavelle guarded by Black. Drives the left side of the lane. Spin move. Layup up. No good. Defensive rebound by Latraven Black of Southern Arkansas. Mule Riders back on the attack. Gregory Hammond with the basketball. And he's fouled by an off-balance Andre Lavelle. Lavelle's first is the team's second. And Southern Arkansas will throw it in from the far sideline as Arkansas Tech head coach Mark Downey implores his point guard, Andre Lavelle, just to take a breath. Southern Arkansas head coach Logan Quinn was upset about something. Not sure why. They called the foul. He has a right to be upset. We all do. We have the right to feel our feelings, don't we, Kelly? Yes, sir. Inbound pass for Brock Schreiner. Schreiner. Only reached double figures in scoring four times this year. Gives it top of the key for Hammond, and Hammond knocks down the three. Seven to nothing, Southern Arkansas, with 17.46 to go in the first half. Wonder Boys back on the attack. Southern Arkansas, now two out of two from three-point range. Talon Peter fakes a three, tries to drive baseline. Chris Weish won't let him. Peter dribbles into the lane, gets all the way to the hoop, and lays it in. Talon Peter able to take Chris Weish off the dribble, and it's seven to two. The Southern Arkansas lead is cut to five. Weish tries to hand it off top of the key for Latraven Black. Talon Peter getting in between that handoff, poked it away. Southern Arkansas able to save the loose ball. Now dribbling on the right wing, it is Blake Rogers. Rogers had eight points and two rebounds in their win over Washita on Thursday. They zip it top of the key for Schreiner. Schreiner guarded by Andre Lavelle, passes to Weish. Weish had 14 points against Washita on Thursday, but here he loses the ball out of bounds under pressure from Talon Peter. And the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. Good defense that time for the Wonder Boys. 17 minutes to go in the first half. Southern Arkansas 7, Arkansas Tech 2. In the final game of the regular season, Arkansas Tech 14 and 13 overall. Southern Arkansas 18 and 9 overall. Top of the key, Taylor Peter away from the basketball. A foul on SAU's Latraven Black. He knocked Nico to the floor and then in an act of good sportsmanship turned around, helped Nico back to his feet. The foul on Latraven Black is his first personal. Team foul number one, Arkansas Tech will throw it in from the baseline. Andre Lavelle shooting just 31% from the field his last five. Gets it back from Darrell Roberts. Throws it out for Roberts. Roberts thought about a three, guarded very closely though by Schreiner. Drives on Schreiner and hits an eight-footer from left of the lane for Darrell Roberts. 16.37 to go in the half. It's seven to four, Southern Arkansas. Top of the key, Gregory Hammond picks up his dribble and a reach-in foul committed by Darrell Roberts of Arkansas Tech. Coach Downey says maybe on the other end, too, with that. It is Roberts' first personal foul, team foul number three. Not and sure about that one. Looked like it was a lot of ball. Must have been some arm, too. Southern Arkansas will throw it in from the far sideline. Blake Rogers will throw it in. Rogers had nine points the first time these two teams got together. Rogers gets it back on the left wing, fakes a pass into the post, gives it right wing for Hammond. Defender flies at him. He passes to Schreiner. Now Hammond gets it back, this time on the right baseline. He'll work on Darrell Roberts, backs him down into the paint. Help defender Andre Lavelle forces a traveling violation by Hammond. 
Andre Lavelle arriving on the scene and forcing Hammond to shuffle his feet. And Hammond clutching at his left hip area as he gets back up. 16-14 to go in the first half. And Hammond's going to try to stay in there. Andre Lavelle will bring it up for Arkansas Tech. Andre had four points, four rebounds, three assists, three steals in the loss at Henderson State on Thursday. They swing it left side. Lavelle gets it back, hands it off to Darrell Roberts. Roberts dribbles to the top, picks up his dribble, throws it in the right corner for B.J. Johnson. Post-entry feed intended for Nico Gosnell, batted away by Black, stolen by Schreiner. Now Schreiner in transition, lost it. Rogers saves it for the Mule Riders. Black gets the ball. He drives the baseline, misses the layup. Defensive rebound, Johnson. Outlet pass for Darrell Roberts. Darrell pulls up for three to tie. He got it. Darrell Roberts with the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer from the right wing, and he ties the score at seven. The Wonder Boys have answered SAU's 7-0 run with a 7-0 run of their own. Drive by Latraven Black. Bumps into Gosnell and lays it in. Latraven Black with the bucket. His first two points, 15-23 to go in the first, and Southern Arkansas back in the lead 9-7. Taylor Peter passes right wing to Darrell Roberts. Now in the corner for B.J. Johnson. He'll try a three. It is no good. Defensive rebound, Gregory Hammond of Southern Arkansas. Hammond brings it up. Checked at the top of the key by Roberts. Gets a pick from Black. Drives. Can't finish the layup. Nico Gosnell forced the miss. Rebounded by Lavelle. Ahead for Peter. Peter finds the trailer, Roberts. Darrell for three again. And again, it is good. Back-to-back -back three-pointers for Darrell Roberts have given Arkansas Tech its first lead of the afternoon at 10-9. It's a Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer for the senior from Dallas, Texas in his final home game. You bet. Six more, and what do you, what do you say? Free tacos. Right side, ball possessed by Chris Weish of Southern Arkansas. They swing it left side. Hammond will try a three. It is good. We told you Hammond's been hot as of late. Eight of 16 from three-point range over his last three games. And he knocks down that one from the left wing. Hammond now two out of two from beyond the arc today. And Southern Arkansas leads 12 to 10. Left corner Roberts. He'll try again. This one is too strong. Weak side offensive rebound. Nico Gosnell. Out it goes to Andre Lavelle. Coach Downey asking for movement. Lavelle drives, gets all the way to the rim on Schreiner and lays it in with the left hand. Andre Lavelle's first two points tie the score at 12 as we go under 14 minutes to play in the first half. Drive by Black, a lot of contact, no whistle, missed the layup. Defensive rebound, Arkansas Tech. Lavelle to Johnson, layup good. B.J. Johnson with the transition bucket. B.J.'s first two points of the game. Johnson came in averaging 14.7 points per game over his last three and shooting 62% from the field over that span. And he puts Arkansas Tech back in the lead at 14 to 12. Bounce pass to the right wing for Latraven Black. Hands it off to Rogers. Rogers wants to drive, shoots over B.J. Johnson, no good. Defensive rebound, Nico Gosnell. We still have not got the under 16 media timeout, but now we will as Andre Lavelle can't handle the pass. It goes out of bounds and there's timeout on the floor. 13 minutes and 19 seconds to go. First half, Arkansas Tech 14, Southern Arkansas 12. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, it's a one-minute break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in, like number one selling Kubota, BX, and L-Series compact tractors. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home-styled lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurants on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you, so come on by Old South. 13 minutes and 19 seconds to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech has made six of its first nine field goal attempts against the Southern Arkansas team that came in fourth in the conference in field goal percentage defense, holding their opponents below 44% shooting on the year. But the Wonder Boys off to a fast start offensively, and now into the game for Arkansas Tech. Tommy Camerad, 6'8", sophomore forward, Buford, Georgia, 8.2 points, 3.9 rebounds per game, and Wes Harris, 
a six foot seven junior forward from Phoenix, Arizona, 8.9 points, five rebounds, one block shot per game. Andre Lavelle, Darrell Roberts, and Talon Peters stay in the game for Arkansas Tech. Schreiner gives to Black, Black drives the baseline, feeds it to the cutter, Carol Ray, and his layup try is no good. Carol goes by CJ, CJ Ray misses the layup, but he did draw the foul, and it is against Arkansas Tech's Tommy Camerad. Camerad's first is the team's fourth, and it'll be two free throws for C.J. Ray. Ray is a six-foot-five sophomore forward from Four Oaks, North Carolina, not to be confused with Five Oaks, North Carolina. C.J. Ray averaging 10.7 points and 6.4 rebounds per game. He had 14 points and 15 rebounds against Arkansas Tech back in December. Yep, but if you do look on the map, they're right next to each other. Are they right next to each other? Yes. Yeah. And I'm sure in your book, probably both real close to Mayberry. Oh, they're right in, that's, uh, right in the hub. Right in, yeah, right in, in the between. hub. Yep, yep. Both free throws good for C.J. Ray. He ties the score at 14 with 12.55 to go. Andre Lavelle picked up by Latraven Black on the left side. Lavelle drives into the painted area. Left-handed layup, no good. Missed it off to the right, and the rebound is out of bounds off Arkansas Tech. So the score is tied at 14, 12 minutes and 44 seconds to go. C.J. Ray will inbound it. To another new face, Jerry Carraway, a six-foot junior guard from Dallas, Texas. Carraway in his first year with the Mule Riders after transferring in from Neosho Community College. Carraway averaging 8.5 points, two rebounds, and 2.9 assists per game. He feeds Latraven Black. Black drives the baseline, and I believe he may have stepped on it. He did. Turnover Southern Arkansas, the third turnover of the game for the Mule Riders. He was pleading his case that he got helped touching that line. Andre Lavelle over midcourt for Arkansas Tech on the dribble. Passes right wing for Taylor Peter. Peter guarded by Chris Weish. Picks up his dribble. Feeds top of the key for Lavelle. Lavelle lobs it up to the rim. Catch made by Wes Harris. Works his way to the basket. Latraven Black blocked his shot. Harris gets it back. Tries again. No good. Defensive rebound. Latraven Black of Southern Arkansas. 12.05 to go first half. Score tied at 14 at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Left wing Black. Gives it up to Carraway. Carraway had 13 points, two rebounds, and five assists in their win over Washita on Thursday. They zip it out to an open Brock Schreiner for three. It is off to the right, no good. Rebound, Arkansas Tech. Brock Schreiner has really been struggling with his shot as of late. Just 9 of 40 from the field in February, including 0 for 15 from three-point range this month. Camerad for three, no good. Defensive rebound, C.J. Ray of Southern Arkansas. Outlet pass for Carraway. Carraway gives it back at the top of the key for Ray. Ray dribbles right, steps back for three. It is short. Rebound, saved in, or at least try by Latraven Black. He was unsuccessful in that attempt. The ball is out of bounds off Southern Arkansas, and there's timeout on the floor. 11.25 to go until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show. The Wonder Boys and the Mule Riders are tied at 14 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It's a one-minute break. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. Heinzman and Son Incorporated reminds you when you need new tires or auto repairs, Heinzman and Son has a well-trained staff to treat you like family, and their goal is always on customer service. It's the foundation of their business, which is why so many people in the River Valley call Heinzman and Son their tire shop. Find Heinzman and Son on Facebook, check out their reviews, and call 880-1222 to make an appointment today. Heinzman and Son, serving the River Valley for over 30 years and counting. This is Todd, market president with Centennial Bank. We're more than just a financial institution. We pride ourselves on being community-focused and connected. Hi, I'm Charlie, business development officer with Centennial Bank. As a lifelong resident of the River Valley, I am proud to be part of a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our communities. Supporting our community starts with people like myself and Charlie. We know and love the River Valley area, which is why we're always banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. NMLS number 564245, member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Well, Kelly, I see you circling things on that box score. What's captured, yeah, your, what's captured well, your attention? One thing that sticks out right now that the Wonder Boys are doing a great job of fast break points. We have an 8-0 to zero lead on fast break points and our second chance points. We're up two points in that category as well. Into the game for Arkansas Tech is Cade Schaefer, a six-foot sophomore guard from Russellville. Four points, 1.5 rebounds, and 1.4 assists per game. So the five on the floor now, Cade Schaefer, Tommy Camerad, Wes Harris, Talon Peter, and B.J. Johnson. Into the front court on the dribble comes Schaefer. Cade on Thursday at Henderson had eight points, four rebounds, and two assists. Gives to Johnson. Johnson drives and dishes for Camerad. 
trying to give it back out to Schaefer. Pass was off target. Schaefer tracks down the loose ball, gives left wing to Peter. Talon goes right, guarded by Brock Schreiner. 12 on the shot clock. Picks up his dribble, passes to Schaefer, left wing. Schaefer one bounce and then a pass for Wes Harris into the post. Harris will work on C.J. Ray, fadeaway jumper, tough shot, no good. Rebound, whistle, foul, and it'll be the second on Tommy Camerad. Team foul number five, and here comes Andre Lavelle to the table for Arkansas Tech. He will give Talon Peter a breather. Somebody on the Arkansas Tech bench needs to let Coach Downey know that's two on Tommy. Into the front court on the dribble, it'll come Jerry Carraway. Carraway guarded by Schaefer. 10.49 to go first half. Score tied at 14. The scoring pace has slowed considerably here in about the last three minutes. The Wonder Boys haven't scored in more than three minutes. SAU hasn't scored in more than two after a very quick start by both offenses. Schreiner gives left wing to Ray. Into the corner. Three-point try. Blake Rogers is good. Blake Rogers buries the three from the left corner. Rogers with his 150th career three-pointer. 10.28 to go in the first half, and SAU goes back in front, 17 to 14. The Mule Riders are now four out of six from downtown. They are just one out of six from inside the arc. Not like the ladies did in the second quarter today of our, our game. Lob pass for B.J. Johnson. Right-handed dribble drive into the lane, seven-footer off to the left. Rebound, out of bounds, last touch by Arkansas Tech. And the basketball belongs to SAU. Darrell Roberts and Nico Gosnell return for Arkansas Tech in place of Camerad and Harris. Brock Schreiner checks out for Southern Arkansas. He is replaced by Gregory Hammond. Gregory Hammond, Jesse Davis, we'll get him introduced in a moment. Blake Rogers, Jerry Carraway, and C.J. Ray. Now the five on the floor for Southern Arkansas. Drive and a dish for Ray. Layup up and good. Hammond on the assist. Ray on the finish, 9.56 to go in the first. Southern Arkansas has scored the last seven points, and the Mule Riders lead 19 to 14. Pass right wing for Schaefer, three-pointer on its way, short. Defensive rebound by Gregory Hammond. Mule Riders want to run with it, behind the back dribble at midcourt by Hammond. Gets him over the timeline. Wonder Boys run a blitz at him. He passes to Carraway for three. It is good. Southern Arkansas on a 10 to nothing run. Timeout, Arkansas Tech. 9.32 to go first half. Southern Arkansas 22, Arkansas Tech 14 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It is a 30-second break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. The heater broke down, I had to act fast. Wiggled some wires, I broke the thermostat. My wife got cold and nose started to freeze. She said, hey man, got a call actually actually air. Dot com. The heater breaks down, they're the one you want. Actually air. Dot com. Fast and they're good and they got it going on. Technician showed up the very same day. Got the fits riding fast, he was on his way. Next time your heater breaks, you know who to call. It's only one choice. Actually, ever call. Southern Arkansas on a 10 to nothing run. The Mule Riders came in second in the league in three-point field goals made at 9.3 per game. They are fifth in the conference in three-point field goal percentage at just under 36%. And so far today, they are five out of seven from downtown. Hey, well, that's some hot shooting right there. Can't uh, let that continue to happen. Unsustainable. Cade Schaefer, Darrell Roberts, B.J. Johnson, Nico Gosnell, and Andre Lavelle, the five on the floor for Tech. Wonder Boys with the ball, down by eight. Schaefer gets it on the right wing, guarded by C.J. Ray. Gosnell sets the pick, slips that screen, goes out to the top of the key, takes the pass, gives it to Schaefer. Schaefer passes left wing for Roberts. Roberts drives, gets his defender in the air, kicks it out to Schaefer, onto Lavelle, nine to shoot, to B.J. Johnson, left-handed dribble across the lane, stops 10 feet away, and then throws it away into the backcourt. An over-and-back violation against Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys commit their fifth turnover. Arkansas Tech has missed seven consecutive field goal tries. And now five turnovers against just six made field goals for Arkansas Tech. Schaefer is out of the game for the Wonder Boys. Taylor Peter is back in. Taylor Peter, B.J. Johnson, Nico Gosnell, Darrell Roberts, and Andre Lavelle are the five. Tommy Camerad on the bench with two fouls. Right side on the dribble, Jerry Carraway picks it up, gives it right side for Hammond. Hammond behind the back dribble, gets to the baseline, spins into the lane, left-handed shot up, no good. Defensive rebound, Nico Gosnell. Gosnell's outlet pass deflected. Taylor Peter able to save it. Ahead to Lavelle, now to B.J. Johnson. Johnson passes right side for Peter. Hand off to Andre Lavelle, and the Wonder Boys will get into a half-court set. 8.35 to go first half. Southern Arkansas on a 10 to nothing run leads it 22-14. Wonder Boys haven't scored in over five and a half minutes. 
Pass to the left wing for B.J. Johnson. Gives to Roberts for three. No good. Rebound Southern Arkansas. Eighth consecutive missed field goal for Arkansas Tech. Caraway in transition. Feeds it underneath the goal for Ray. Ray had it poked away by Gosnell. Stolen by Lavelle. Three on two the other way. Lavelle, spin move, layup, short, no good. Rebound Southern Arkansas. Very, very few second chances right now for Arkansas Tech. And that's nine consecutive misses. A lot of contact. Altered the shot just a little. Only two offensive rebounds so far for the Wonder Boys among their 12 missed shots. Layup up and good for C.J. Ray. It is a 12 to nothing run for Southern Arkansas. And the Mule Riders lead 24 to 14. The scoring drought for Arkansas Tech now over six minutes. Left wing Peter, right-handed dribble drive into the lane, leans in on Ray, puts up a tough 10-footer, can't get it to go, but he puts it back again. No good again. Make it now 11 consecutive missed field goal tries for the Wonder Boys. Southern Arkansas in transition. Hammond, scoop shot, no good, gets his own rebound. Reverse layup is good for Hammond. 7.24 to go in the half, and Coach Downey is forced to call another timeout. A 14 to nothing run for Southern Arkansas. The Mule Riders lead 26 to 14 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for one minute. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. We have sort of a hidden gem right here in the Arkansas River Valley, Central Arkansas Surgical Center of Russellville. They're high on the hill at the intersection of Highway 7 and Interstate 40. We're talking quality local surgeons in a variety of capacities who can help you when it comes time for surgery. It's not a hospital. It's a surgical center. Central Arkansas Surgical Center. Inquire today by logging on to centralarkansasurgical.com or call them at 967-1117. Seven minutes and 23 seconds to go in the first half. Southern Arkansas 26. Arkansas Tech 14 as the Mule Riders battle for the number two seed. The reason that is important is because the number two seed will get to play on Thursday, and if they are fortunate enough to advance, they will get a day off before playing in the semifinals on Saturday. That's why winning this game could be so valuable to Southern Arkansas if it leads to the number two seed. Arkansas Tech with the basketball, left wing, Taylor Peter lobs it up on an alley-oop try for Wes Harris. Harris receives the pass, can't complete the shot because he was fouled by Blake Rogers of Southern Arkansas. Rogers picks up his first personal foul. Team foul number two on the Mule Riders. Arkansas Tech will throw it in from the baseline with 22 on the shot clock. Arkansas Tech shooting at the basket to our left here in the first half, inbound for Wes Harris. Harris defended by Jesse Davis. I still owe you an introduction of Jesse. We'll get to that, I promise. Harris, spin move, layup, try, up, and good for Wes Harris. Harris gets his first two points of the game. Southern Arkansas's Jesse Davis is a 6'6 junior forward from Shreveport, Louisiana, appearing in his 99th game for the Mule Riders, averaging 3.7 points and three rebounds per game this year. Layup, up, and good for Southern Arkansas. Gregory Hammond gets the bucket. Hammond now with 11 first-half points. And it's 28 to 16, Southern Arkansas. Right baseline, Taylor Peter got fouled, got the roll, and he will have a try at a three-point play at the a Better Way Realty free throw line. As Taylor Peter able to knock down the 14-foot jumper from the right baseline, absorb the contact, and get himself to the free throw line for one shot. Foul on C.J. Ray is his first team foul number three, and Taylor Peter at the A Better Way Realty free throw line where he is a 79% shooter this year, 11th best in the Great American Conference. He'll be shooting one. It is good. A three point play for Talon cuts the Southern Arkansas lead to 28 to 19. Talon Peter now with five points on the day, the reigning Great American Conference player of the week. Talon came in averaging 21.5 points per game over his last four. 
Left corner, Blake Rogers fakes the three, drives the baseline, bounce pass opposite corner for an open Gregory Hammond. The Wonder Boys lost track of Hammond, and that has proven to be a bad mistake here today. Hammond is now three out of three from three-point range. He has 12 first-half points, and it's 31-19 Southern Arkansas with just over six minutes left in the half. Layup try by Wes Harris yields a foul on SAU's Hammond. Gregory Hammond gets his first personal foul. Team foul number four. And it'll be two shots from the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Arkansas Tech's Wes Harris. Harris at the line for the first time today. He's got two points in the game. On the season, Wes is a 59% free throw shooter. First try for Harris is no good. Harris had eight points and one rebound against Henderson State on Thursday, shooting 71% from the field over his last nine games. Did not appear in the first meeting between these two teams because he was in concussion protocol. Cost him quite a few games there in mid-December. Missed both free throws on the other end. A foul on Wes Harris as he fouls Latraven Black driving to the basket. Wes Harris' first personal foul. Team foul number six. Oh, I apologize. I think they may have given it to BJ instead. BJ. According to TK, okay. So not on Wes Harris. Put him back to zero. And instead give BJ Johnson his second personal foul. First free throw try for Latraven Black is up and good. Black, a 57% free throw shooter on the season. He's had six double doubles this year, almost had a seventh on Thursday, nine points, nine points and nine rebounds against Washita. Misses the second free throw, defensive rebound, Andre Lavelle of Arkansas Tech. 5.51 to go, first half. Southern Arkansas 32, Arkansas Tech 19. Top of the key, Lavelle passes left side for B.J. Johnson. Out to Darrell Roberts on the right wing. Roberts, left-handed dribble drive, gives it up, and it's stolen away by Latraven Black. Tough pass diagonally through the lane, trying to get it to Wes Harris. Instead, Latraven Black makes the steal. Arkansas Tech with its sixth turnover. Weish thought about three. Instead, gives to Schreiner at the top of the key. Brock Schreiner backs it out to the Tech logo at midcourt. Schreiner passes right side for Gregory Hammond. And his pass along the baseline is stolen away by Darrell Roberts. Outlet pass for B.J. Johnson. 5-13 left in the half. Wonder Boys down by 13. Taylor Peter misses for three. Defensive rebound by Latraven Black of Southern Arkansas. His fourth rebound. And Southern Arkansas edges in front in the rebound battle. 13-12. Three-pointer, no good. Blake Rogers. Defensive rebound, Andre Lavelle. Lavelle on the fast break against Schreiner. And he's just going to back it out now. And the Wonder Boys will run a half-court set. Had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity against Schreiner, didn't like it. Lavelle dribbles at the top of the key, passes right side for Peter. 4.42 left in the half. Talon spin move in the lane, left right-handed scoop shot up and good for Talon Peter. He's got seven points. 4.36 left until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show, and the Southern Arkansas lead is 32 to 21. Black left wing, hands it off. Stolen away from Gregory Hammond by Roberts. He's got Harris on a run out. Lead pass. Harris tracks it down and lays it in. Wes Harris with the bucket. Set up by the steal and the assist by Darrell Roberts. 4.15 to go in the half. Arkansas Tech battling back as the SAU lead is back in single digits at 32-23. to 23. A couple more stops here. 4.03 left in the first half. Rogers gives to Latraven Black on the right wing. He penetrates. Pass deflected out of bounds by Andre Lavelle. And there's timeout on the floor. 3.57 left in the first half. Southern Arkansas 32. Arkansas Tech 23 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It is a one-minute break. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. If your business is telephone system, alarm system, cabling, or even CCTV aren't up to date, your business is not secure. Tracer Communications is a one-stop shop for new and existing businesses that value honesty, hard work, and quality solutions. So you can save time and money and focus on your business while they take care of your phone and security systems. And that saves you money and protects your investment. So call your local Tracer Communications at 890-6499 to set up an appointment or visit tracercoms.com for a full list of services today. Arkansas, tire and auto service, we're more than just tires. 
Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. Kelly, what do you spy on that GAC scoreboard? Tell you what, right now in baseball action, the uh, Southern Nazarene 3, Arkansas Tech 1. It is in the top of the fifth. And we also have a couple of half times. Southwest Oklahoma leading Southern Nazarene, 32-28. And we've got Northwest Oklahoma trailing Southeast, 43-35. Arkansas Tech stole the inbound pass. Now the Wonder Boys back on offense. Cade Schaefer receives a pass on the right wing, and Jerry Carraway overplaying in the passing lane, crashes into Schaefer. Jerry, Jerry Carraway gets his first personal foul. Team foul number five, Arkansas Tech will throw it in from the far sideline. Talon Peter will be the trigger man. Nico Gosnell, Cade Schaefer, Darrell Roberts, and Andre Lavelle are the other contestants right now for Arkansas Tech. Roberts leads the way offensively today for the Wonder Boys with eight points. Talon Peter has seven. Arkansas Tech, 10 of 25 from the floor, 40%. Lavelle drives, cut off by two defenders in the lane, chucks it out to Schaefer. Schaefer misses from 16 feet. Offensive rebound, Andre Lavelle, handoff Peter. Three-pointer good! Nothing but net from the left wing for Talon Peter. A Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer, the Wonder Boys on a seven to nothing run, are back within 32 to 26. Pass on the left side for Black. Black drives the baseline, finds Ray, CJ Ray, layup good, and a foul on Darrell Roberts. Roberts second, the team's seventh, and a three point play opportunity for CJ Ray of Southern Arkansas with exactly three minutes to go in the half. Tommy Camarad with two fouls is back in and Darrell Roberts is out for Arkansas Tech. C.J. Ray steps to the free throw line for Southern Arkansas. He is an 82% free throw shooter this season. Ray had 17 points and 15 rebounds against Washita on Thursday. A week ago against Oklahoma Baptist, he had 17 points and 6 rebounds. He's reached double figures in scoring 15 times this year. and He's had two double-doubles in his first year after transferring in from Frank Phillips College. He completes the three-point play, 35-26 is the Southern Arkansas lead. C.J. Ray now with nine first half points for Southern Arkansas. Hammond leads the Mule Riders with 12 points. Schaefer fakes left, goes right, gives to Peter. Talon's three is short with Chris Weish on him. He thought Weish got him across the arm, but no foul. Carraway takes it the other way. He and Ray play catch on the left wing. Carraway now with his dribble, 21 to shoot. Tries to give it to Latraven Black, couldn't do it. Gives to Jesse Davis instead. Now Carraway gets it back. Bounce pass left side for C.J. Ray. Cross court to Carraway. Between the legs dribble. Lost it. Schaefer pokes it away. Cade Schaefer dives on the loose ball. Gives to Camerad. Turnover Southern Arkansas. Camerad underneath the basket. Gives it up to B.J. Johnson. Layup wouldn't go. But a whistle and a foul. And two free throws from the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Upcoming for Arkansas Tech's B.J. Johnson. Latraven Black gets his second personal foul. Team foul number six. And B.J. Johnson to the free throw line for the first time today. B.J. on the season, a 73% free throw shooter. Johnson's first try on its way and no good. He'll have another. Johnson had 17 points and seven rebounds in the loss at Henderson State on Thursday. He had seven points and four rebounds in the loss at Southern Arkansas back on December the 17th. Trying to get this second free throw with 2.16 left in the half. He did. Southern Arkansas leads 35-27. Mule Riders have led by as many as 13. They are shooting 57% from the floor are the Mule Riders and 67%, six out of nine from three-point range. Rebounds are even at 14 apiece. Arkansas Tech plus two on the turnover margin. Top of the key, C.J. Ray on the dribble. Bounce pass into the corner, received by Hammond. Hammond guarded by Peter, drives the baseline, layup up and good, no help side defense after he beat Peter off the dribble. A minute 54 left in the half. And it's 37-27. Camarad tries a runner. It is no good, but he was fouled. And Tommy Camarad will get the privilege of two tries from the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Jesse Davis gets his first. Team foul number seven. Two sides are now even in that regard. And Tommy Camarad to the free throw line for the first time today. Six foot eight sophomore forward from Buford, Georgia. First try is no good, in and out. 
Camarad, an 87% free throw shooter this year, doesn't have enough attempts to qualify among the conference leaders. Otherwise, he'd be right up there. Tommy had two points, five rebounds, three assists at Henderson State on Thursday night. He misses both free throws, and Jesse Davis with the defensive rebound for Southern Arkansas. A minute 40 to go until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show. 37-27, SAU by 10. C.J. Ray, right-handed dribble drive, spin move in the lane, 10-footer, no good. Rebound, Arkansas Tech. Cade Schaefer with it. Outlet pass for Lavelle. Andre goes to the left wing, cut off there by Hammond. Dribbles on the left wing. Here comes Wes Harris out front. He makes the catch, gives right wing to Schaefer. Schaefer lost the handle, got it back. Defender hit the ground. Feed for Harris. Slam dunk up and good. Wes Harris with the stuff off the feed by Cade Schaefer. Schaefer's first assist. Six points for Harris. 108 to go in the half. Wonder Boys down by eight. Layup no good for Caraway, but a blocking foul on Talon Peter, who was in the restricted area, and thus picks up his first personal foul. Mm, so close. So close. Team foul number eight. And it'll be two free throws for Southern Arkansas's Jerry Caraway. Caraway back on February the 11th had a career high 28 points against East Central University. Since then, coming into today, just 9 of 29 from the field. He has three points so far today. Caraway, a very unorthodox free throw shooter. He stands over on the far right hand side of the free throw line. It's effective on the first one though. Caraway on the season is a 74% free throw shooter. Can't argue with that. He is somewhat in Tommy Camerad's personal space. And Camerad got, got verification from the officials that he can hold his arm straight up. Caraway stands all the way over to the right as far as he can. Well, he will get the effect of being, uh, being guarded. He made them both. 104 to go in the half. And it's 38. I should say now 39 to 29. A 10 point lead for Southern Arkansas. Caraway with five points. Right side, B.J. Johnson. Southern Arkansas goes zone here, a 2-3 zone. Out to Talon Peter, open look at three. No good, defensive rebound by C.J. Ray. 45 seconds left in the half. Mule Riders with the ball and a 10-point lead. Schreiner gives right side for Ray. And Southern Arkansas will take advantage of its use it or lose it timeout before the half. 37.1 seconds to go in the first half. SAU leads 39-29. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Some thoughts about your home from Alathus Realty of Russellville. Many will tell you spring is the best time to sell. And if you've been considering putting your house on the market, why wait until spring when everyone else is on the market and you have more competition? Why not go on the market now when there's less competition and get more for your home? If you're ready to sell or you know someone who's thinking of selling, get in touch with the professionals at Alathus Realty, Russellville. Find them on Facebook. 37.1 seconds to go in the first half. Southern Arkansas 39, Arkansas Tech 29. Blake Rogers, Jerry Carraway, C.J. Ray, Gregory Hammond, and Brock Schreiner break the huddle for SAU. Andre Lavelle, Talon Peter, Cade Schaefer, Wes Harris, Tommy Camerad for Arkansas Tech. And Rodgers will make the inbound pass for the Mule Riders, who are shooting 57% from the field thus far, and they lead 39-29. to 29. Caraway fakes the pass left, now does give it to Rodgers. Arkansas Tech has gone to a 3-2 zone here. Peter, Schaefer, and Lavelle, the three men up front. Harris and Camerad along the baseline, seven on the shot clock. Hammond, defended by Schaefer out of that zone. Shoots for three, it is no good. Defensive rebound, Camerad. And now the Wonder Boys can take the final shot of the half. All right, let's get under 10 here. 10 seconds left in the half. Wonder Boys trail by 10. Andre Lavelle, four seconds left. Got to go, Andre, got to go. Pulls up for a deep three-pointer. It is no good. Wes Harris was slow setting the ball screen, and that delayed the progress and forced Andre into a low percentage shot. And that is the end of the first half at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville, where the score is Southern Arkansas 39 and Arkansas Tech 29. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we take a three-minute break and then come back for the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. 
A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings, and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business, not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479 272 40 69 at fleet time quality tires to fit every budget because you customer are always a top priority at Fleet Tire Point S. So come by today to experience the Fleet Tire Point S difference. No stress with Point S. Mr. Break and Lube, your local Pennzoil 10-minute oil change super stop at 1415 East Main Street has the best brand name oils like Mobile One, Castrol, Motorcraft, Rotella, and Quaker State without breaking the bank. Plus, specials to save even more. Come by 1415 East Main Street when you need an oil change or repair work from your local one-stop maintenance shop you can count on. Mr. Break and Lube and follow Mr. Break and Lube on Facebook to keep up with monthly specials. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info, and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person, or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. The folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air want to take a moment not only to thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family whole house comfort. Every kind word that you put online and personal recommendation to your friends and family is appreciated. Customers like you are not only vital to their business, but vital to making our community as great as it is. From their family to yours, thank you. From Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at A Better Way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at A Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with A Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A Better Way Realty. Real estate done a better way. Welcome in to the Fleet Tire Point S Halftime Show from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville where the score is Southern Arkansas 39 and Arkansas Tech 29. Let's take a look at the numbers so far. SAU is 13 of 24 from the field. That is 54%, including 6 out of 10, 60% from three-point range. And the Mule Riders, 7 out of 9 from the free throw line, 78%. Arkansas Tech, 12 of 31 from the floor, 39%, including 3 out of 12, 25% from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc, and the Wonder Boys just 2 out of 7, 29% at the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Southern Arkansas with a 17 to 16 rebounding edge, the Mule Riders with 7 assists and 8 turnovers thus far. Arkansas Tech cleaned up the turnover act as the half went along, 6 assists and 6 turnovers at the intermission for Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys have an 8-5 to five edge in points off turnovers, and Arkansas Tech leading in fast break points 11 to nothing. Individual leaders, first for Southern Arkansas, Gregory Hammond has 14 points on 5 of 8 shooting from the floor. He is 3 out of 4 from 3-point range. C.J. Ray off the bench with 9 points and 3 rebounds for Southern Arkansas. Jerry Carraway has 5 points, 3 points apiece for Latraven Black, Chris Weish, and Blake Rogers. Jesse Davis has two points for the Riders. Brock Schreiner hasn't scored, but he has three assists for SAU. Arkansas Tech is led by Talon Peter with 10 points thus far. Talon is four out of nine from the field. Darrell Roberts with eight points. Six points in the first half for Wes Harris. B.J. Johnson has three points. And Andre Lavelle with two points, six rebounds, and two assists at halftime. 
This is the Fleet Tire Point S Halftime Show from the Alathus Realty broadcast position at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Southern Arkansas leads 39 to 29. We will take a three minute break and then Kelly will take us around the GAC. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at CMD Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. I think when you need to get on the air, buddy. Special medicines. Martin Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need CMD Drugstore in the corner of Big End Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60 year tradition. Do you need help with health insurance, Medicare insurance, life insurance, long-term care insurance? We can help you find solutions. Hi, I'm Mike Durrell. If you're on associate, give us a call today and let us help you find solutions. Let's make your name. If you're on associate, insurance is today's direction to deal with a variety of complicated issues. But it doesn't have to be that. Let our professional staff simplify it. If you're on associate, you can call us at 479-857-2810. Commerce, everybody has to have a little now and again. If you're a little low on cash, bring your old, unwanted, or broken gold or silver jewelry into Joshua's Fine Jewelry and let us convert it into beautiful brand new cash. Take your girl out for a night on the town, buy your mom something nice. If you're not using it, sell it for top dollar at Joshua's Fine Jewelry in beautiful downtown Westwood. Do you need your wisdom or other teeth removed? Do you have a toothache? Are you considering dental implants to replace missing teeth or to help anchor a denture? Be sure to see Dr. Forrest Bale for a no out-of-pocket consultation at Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is contracted with many insurance companies and has multiple financing options to minimize your out-of-pocket costs. At your oral surgery in a very state-of-the-art facility right here in Russellville. Visit their website at Lakeside OMS. Miller Roofing Company, a family-owned company treating you like family. Who's a part of the Miller family of employees? Tony Martin is construction supervisor. I go out and I look at whatever projects uh, people may be needing done, whether it's additions, remodel work, um, the construction. And a lot of times people, they have a vision of what they want. And what I try to offer them is my experience uh, in this field. We just like to do the best that we can for our customers. Your friends at Miller Roofing. See them at South Arkansas. Arkansas and Russellville, and follow them on Facebook. Village Rust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family-owned business, and they take care of their customers, like family too. So remember, your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook, or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you can always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Back with you at the Alathus Realty broadcast position and the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show where the Arkansas Tech cheerleaders just followed up a great performance by the Arkansas Tech Golden Girls dance team with a great performance of their own. We thank our spirit squads for their great support of Wonder Boys and Golden Sons Athletics not only today but throughout this 2022-23 academic year. This will pretty well wrap up their performance season here today and we thank them for their dedication to their craft as well as the Arkansas Tech Pet Band and then going back to football season of course the Arkansas Tech Marching Band, Arkansas's Band of Distinction. What great support we have from our spirit squads and our bands here at Arkansas Tech University and we are joined by Kelly Davis who has a look at what else is going on around the Great American Conference with Southern Arkansas leading here 39 to 29 over the Wonder Boys. Thanks, Sam. Real quickly, let's back up and look at the women's side. All these were the finals. Your Golden Suns today, 94 87 over Southern Arkansas. It was Washita 81, UA Monticello 61, Southern Nazarene 67, Southwest Oklahoma 60, and Northwest Oklahoma 77, Southeast Oklahoma 60. Two games that will start at 5 30 is Henderson State at Harding and East Central at Oklahoma Baptist. Some implications with that East Central Oklahoma Baptist game that could make a difference in some of the standings. Everything else has been set, my friends, for the GAC tournament on the women's side of the bracket. 
The number one seed will be Southern Nazarene. They will play the number eight seed, Southern Arkansas. The number four seed, your Golden Sons of Arkansas Tech. The number five seed and the number six seed is yet to be determined. And that will be between Oklahoma Baptist and Washita, one of those two teams. The number seven uh, seed will play the number two seed, number two seed Harding. They will be taking on the number seven seed, which is East Central University. And the number three seed, Henderson State, will take on either Oklahoma Baptist or Washita. That will be determined later today. On the men's side, your halftime scores are Washita 34, UA Monticello 22. It is Southwest Oklahoma giving it what they uh, can today. They have a 32 to 28 lead over the number one seed, Southern Nazarene, right now. And Southeast Oklahoma 43, Northwest Oklahoma 35. Starting at 7:30 will be Henderson State and Harding, and East Central and Oklahoma Baptist. Right now, it's kind of it's early to tell on some of these seedings. The only one that has been placed right now is the number one seed, and that is going to be Southern Nazarene. Uh, right now, tied for second is, South, is Southern Arkansas and Southeast Oklahoma. Both of those teams winning right now at the half. Your Wonder Boys in the number four spot right now with 12 and 9, as well as East Central. So there's a tie there as well. Henderson State and Oklahoma Baptist at 10 and 11. All of those teams are already punched uh, their ticket for the GAC tournament. So there is only one more spot left, and that's going to be between Southwest Oklahoma, Washita Baptist, Northwest Oklahoma, and UA Monticello. So we'll see how those uh, scores come out. There will be some tiebreakers, I'm sure, that will have to be determined also on the men's side. So that's where we stand right now. And so far in baseball, I'll give you an update there. Southern Nazarene maintaining that lead. It is now in the sixth inning. And the score is top of the six, Southern Nazarene five, Arkansas Tech one. So hopefully the Arkansas Tech bats will get hot here late in the innings at that, at that contest. They, Wonder Boys won the first game. So if Southern Nazarene is looking to tie it up one to one, and then they will go into the uh, uh, final game tomorrow. The Friday game got canceled due to the weather, as always. And we'll see, there's one more match going on, I believe, uh, the uh, Golden Suns tennis team, they started at 2 o'clock. That should be maybe wrapping, wrapping up or already over. And they played Arkansas State. They had to move that match down to Burns Park. So we'll try to get you a uh, final on that one as well. Our halftime score in Russellville is the Southern Arkansas Mule Riders 39 and the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys 29. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we will step aside for one minute and then come back with the second half. This has been the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show, and this is Wonder Boys Basketball. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Scott. And I'm Corey. And we're the TreeWise Tree Guys. Tree work experts based in Russellville, Arkansas. You have a problem tree that you'd like removed, trimmed, or otherwise dealt with? We're the guys to call. If you're looking for the best, look no further. We're the highest rated in the area. Five-star rating on Google. Give Jay Lynn a call today, 479-222-0793. That's 479-222-0793. Tree-wise, tree guys. Farmers Co-op located in Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. Mike Apples along. Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is, and uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animal's needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op, we're located on East Main at Russellville. Don't forget their Damble location. Back with you at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville as the Wonder Boys and the Mule Riders get set for the second half with SAU leading 39 to 29. And Kelly, when you look at how can the Wonder Boys turn this around, it's really difficult to say this is just a tough matchup. Southern Arkansas is so athletic and overcoming that athletic advantage that the Mule Riders quite frankly have 
is going to be a big challenge here in the second half. There's a reason they pretty easily handled the Wonder Boys down in Magnolia, and a reason they're up by 10 today. It's just not the greatest yeah. matchup in the world for Arkansas Tech. No, but I mean, because, I mean, what, what do you do? You've got, you probably have to come out a little bit, guard that three-point line, and then next thing you know, they've got such a quick first step. I mean, they're around you, uh, halfway, halfway home to making a layup. So that's going to create some double teams. So somebody's going to be open. And uh, so they've got to figure out a way to maybe just slow that down a little bit. One thing that's hurt the Wonder Boys, free throw shooting. Yes. You know, the free throw shooting right now. And then uh, finishing some shots, easy shots under the basket that they missed. So maybe they can uh, do better this half in those areas. Andre Lavelle gets Arkansas Tech into its offense to begin the second half. Passes right wing for Taylor Peter. Chris Weish right in his face. Peter left-handed dribble drive into the lane. Leans in, shot blocked by Weish, and they've got Weish for a foul. Chris Weish commits his first personal foul. Team foul number one this half. It'll be two shots from the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Arkansas Tech's Taylor Peter. Taylor is one out of one at the free throw line today. He leads Arkansas Tech in scoring today with 10 points. Taylor appearing in his 59th game at the collegiate level, came in with 652 career points. 243 career rebounds. He had 13 points and six rebounds in the loss at Southern Arkansas back in mid-December. Makes the first free throw. The second one is also good. 1947 to go. 39-31, Southern Arkansas by eight. Full court pressure by Arkansas Tech. The press gave SAU some trouble down in Magnolia. Wonder Boys were able to force him into more than 20 turnovers in that ball game, but SAU won it anyway, 62-53. Drive by Latraven Black, stripped away from him. Black gets it back after B.J. Johnson nearly had a steal. Now left wing Hammond. Hammond goes right, guarded by Darrell Roberts. Passes left side for Weish. Weish goes left, steps back for a tough three. No good. Defensive rebound by Taylor Peter. Nice job defensively by B.J. Johnson to force that tough three. And then in transition, Taylor Peter thought he had a man streaking down the baseline, yeah. but nobody was there. Not sure who that would, would have been, but. SAU back the other way after the Arkansas Tech turnover, the seventh of the game for the Wonder Boys. Right corner, Weish to Schreiner to Rogers, fakes a pass left, now gives it to Hammond. Hammond steps back for three. It is no good. Hammond gets his own rebound, throws it on the left baseline for Rogers. Rogers, defended by B.J. Johnson, drives the left baseline, draws a foul. It's on the floor. SAU will throw it in from the baseline. Foul on Arkansas Tech is on B.J. Johnson for a push. That's three on Johnson. And Southern Arkansas will throw it in from the baseline. Brock Schreiner to trigger it in. Here comes Tommy Camerad. He will check in at the next dead ball for Arkansas Tech. Schreiner takes a handoff from Black on the left wing. Goes right, defended by Lavelle. Gives it up on the wing for Hammond. Hammond with 12 to shoot. Gives to Weish, who replaced him on the right wing. Three-pointer good for Chris Weish. Weish's second three-pointer. 18.39 to go, 42-31, Southern Arkansas. Weish, a career 41% three-point shooter. That is his 97th career successful attempt from beyond the arc. Right wing, Andre Lavelle, left-handed dribble drive, cut off by Schreiner, kicks it out to Roberts. Darrell Roberts takes Hammond down the left baseline, draws a double team underneath the goal, goes up for a tough layup try, no good. Latraven Black gets the defensive rebound for Southern Arkansas. Black in transition, stops at the top of the key, Defended by Nico Gosnell, drives on him, layup good for Black. Black just too quick off the dribble there. He's got five points. We go under 18 minutes remaining, and it's 44-31 Southern Arkansas. Andre Lavelle goes left, gets a pick from Gosnell. Throws it out to Talon on the right wing. Talon for three, got it. Nothing but net from the right wing for Talon Peter, his second Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer of the day. 17-43 remaining. And he cuts the Southern Arkansas lead to 44-34. Black hands it off top of the key for Hammond. Hammond guarded by Darrell Roberts, goes to the right wing with his dribble. Shot clock at 14. Hammond gets a pick from Black, stops in the lane, feeds Weish. Weish out to Rogers for three. It is in and out, no good. Defensive rebound by Talon Peter. Long outlet for B.J. Johnson. B.J. to the rim, left-handed layup, good. B.J. Johnson with five points. Set up by the rebound and the long outlet pass by Taylor and Peter, and the Wonder Boys are back within eight at 44-36. It's been clear here today that getting transition offense going has been a priority for Arkansas Tech, and it has paid off the Wonder Boys a 13-0 edge in fast break points. 
Drive by Schreiner, runs over Peter, offensive foul. Talon Peter takes the charge. First personal foul on Brock Schreiner. Southern Arkansas commits its ninth turnover. C.J. Ray and Jerry Carraway replace Gregory Hammond and Blake Rogers for Southern Arkansas. For Arkansas Tech, Darrell Roberts is going to stay in. It'll be Nico Gosnell and B.J. Johnson who check out. And into the front court comes Arkansas Tech. Top of the key, Andre Lavelle. Gives it up right wing for Taylor Peter. Now Wes Harris says that the band is playing. I'm not sure why. Taylor Peter for three. It is good. Taylor Peter with the three-pointer. Third three-pointer of the day for Taylor. Maybe the band should play every possession. 18 <laughs> points for Taylor. And the Wonder Boys are back within five. 44-39 on the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer. Stripped away from Caraway by Lavelle. It went off Caraway's leg and out of bounds. And the basketball back to Arkansas Tech on the SAU turnover. Good defense. Playing some good defense right now. Arkansas Tech on an eight to nothing run. They've made three consecutive field goal tries. Andre Lavelle over the timeline, gives left wing for Camerad. Camerad guarded by Schreiner, zips it down low for Harris. Harris had it poked away out of bounds by Latraven Black. And Arkansas Tech will maintain possession with 19 on the shot clock and 16-17 left in the game. SAU leading 44-39. Chris Weish is out. Jesse Davis is in for Southern Arkansas. Inbound pass Lavelle. Gives to Peter, 12-footer off the glass, and no good from left of the lane. Defensive rebound, Jerry Carraway of Southern Arkansas. Been nice to head that one. Mule Riders with a 20-18 to 18 rebounding edge. Schreiner passes in the corner for Carraway. Carraway lost his dribble. Taylor Peter nearly stole it. Carraway got it back. 15 to shoot. Left wing to Black. Latraven Black guarded by Camerat. Passes out front for Schreiner. Schreiner guarded by Lavelle. It's a ball screen from Davis. Davis slips the screen, goes to post up. They give it to Ray on the left wing. C.J. Ray, three-pointer, is woefully short. Rebound, saved in, but right to Taylor Peter of Arkansas Tech. It's five on four. Left wing to Lavelle. Lavelle gives it right side, intended for Darrell Roberts, but the last man recovering for SAU defensively, Jerry Carraway, able to get in the passing lane to steal it, poked away from him out of bounds. Southern Arkansas will have the basketball when we come back. 15 minutes and 34 seconds remaining. Southern Arkansas, 44. Arkansas Tech, 39. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we take a one-minute break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Fellner's Athletes Corner, your high-performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel, features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kavu, Keen, and many, many more. Fellers invite you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined experience, the familiar faces at Fellners can help you with all your athletic needs. Fellners Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. First Aid Bank is proud to serve our community, a community made of hardworking friends and neighbors, folks who make our community better you're why we offer personal helpful service and convenient digital tools. You make our town what it is. Deeply rooted, community driven. First State Bank, these are our stomping grounds. Visit fsbmybank.com to learn more. Never FDIC. Latraven Black, Jerry Carraway, C.J. Ray, Jesse Davis, and Blake Rogers. Blake break the huddle for Southern Arkansas. For Arkansas Tech, it is Wes Harris, Andre Lavelle, Darrell Roberts, Tommy Camerad, and Talon Peter. Peter with 18 points to lead all scorers here this afternoon. Gregory Hammond has 14 points to lead the way for Southern Arkansas. Mule Riders with the ball and a 44-39 lead. 15-25 to go in Russellville. Final game of the regular season. Wonder Boys will play in the first round of the GAC tournament on Friday. Right side, Caraway. Jab, step right, goes left. Gives it up out front for Black. Black fakes a three, passes right side for Rogers. Rogers with Peter running at him, drives past him. Layup try, no good. Camerad gets the defensive rebound. Outlet pass for Talon. Talon, a lot of speed into the lane. Lost it, poked away by Latraven Black. Stolen by Davis. Davis ahead to Black, three on one. Lobs it up. Ray was the intended recipient. Jesse Davis ended up with it after Tommy Camerad deflected the pass. Arkansas Tech out of there with the loose ball. Right side, Peter. What a job by Tommy Camerad, the lone man back on the three-on-one fast break to break it up. Oh, I tell you what. <laughs> you talk about athleticism. That was it. And 
thanks to that effort by Tommy, Southern Arkansas still does not have a fast break point today. Roberts for three. Darrell Roberts with the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer from the left wing. It is an 11 to nothing run for Arkansas Tech, and the Wonder Boys are within two after trailing by as many as 13 here today. That's good, Darrell's 11th point. Drive by Caraway. layup try no good, tip try no good, second tip try by Jesse Davis, no good. Caraway ends up with the loose ball for SAU. Tries again, no good. Another offensive rebound. Jesse Davis goes back up, no good. Rebound, Arkansas Tech. Lavelle with Roberts to his right on the fast break. Stops, gives to Peter. Three-pointer is good! And the Wonder Boys on a 14 to nothing run have taken the lead. 45-44 Wonder Boys, 13-54 remaining. Timeout Southern Arkansas at the Alathus Realty broadcast possession. We step aside for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in. Like number one selling Kubota, BX, and L-Series compact tractors. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. 13 minutes and 54 seconds to go in the second half. Arkansas Tech on a 14 to nothing run. The Wonder Boys five of seven from the field and four out of four from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc to begin the second half. Kelly, I wondered aloud as this half began, how can the Wonder Boys overcome SAU's athletic advantage? And I'd say four out of four from three-point range is a pretty good way to do it. Well, you know, that and we, we haven't had a chance to shoot many, many free throws, so we didn't have to worry about that. But one thing we still need can, can improve on, and I don't know, but they still say fast break points. We have 16 to Southern Arkansas zero, so that is keeping us in the game right now as we speak. So that's good. 16-0 run on fast break points. Taylor Peter has scored 11 points in the first six minutes and six seconds of the second half. And as a result, the Wonder Boys have come back from a 13-point deficit to take the lead at 45-44. Right wing on the dribble, Caraway deflected and stolen by Taylor Peter. On the return, he loses it out of, hand, out of bounds as SAU got a hand on it, and then it went off of Taylor's leg out of bounds. Yeah, Taylor was wanting a uh, slap across the arm, did not receive it. So it's out of bounds off of Peter over on the far sideline, and Southern Arkansas will get the basketball back after the near steal. Southern Arkansas has not scored a point in four and a half minutes. They've missed seven consecutive field goal tries. Brock Schreiner dribbles the top of the key, guarded by Andre Lavelle. Goes right, Lavelle gets over the screen, pass to Traven Black. Black, defended by Wes Harris, gives it out to Hammond. Hammond goes left, they run a blitz at him. Hammond dribbles away from it, two on the shot clock. 15-foot jumper is no good. Rebound off of Camerad, but they're going to say Southern Arkansas touched it last. Wonder Boys might have got a break there. C.J. Ray yeah. apparently got a piece of it. Looks like Tommy Tommy also had, had a handle on it. 13 minutes and 10 seconds to go. Wonder Boys look to add to their 14 to nothing run. Right side, Andre Lavelle. Uses his dribble, guarded by Brock Schreiner. We go under 13 minutes to play. Lavelle into the lane, layup. He's going to call an offensive foul on Andre Lavelle as he pushed off on Schreiner. Andre Lavelle commits his second personal foul. Blake Rogers is out for Southern Arkansas, replaced by Chris Weish. So it's C.J. Ray, Brock Schreiner, Chris Weish, Latraven Black, and Gregory Hammond for Southern Arkansas. Arkansas Tech leads 45-44. Thanks to a 14 to nothing run by Arkansas Tech. Top of the key for Black, guarded by Wes Harris. Shot clock at 16. Pass on the right wing for Schreiner. Out to Ray. C.J. Ray goes left. Now Weish makes a catch in the right corner. Finds Hammond cutting toward the basket, but Camerad right with him. Deflects the pass out of bounds, and SAU will throw it in with six on the shot clock. All right. Nothing easy inside. Make them work for it. Inbound pass, Brock Schreiner. Looking, looking, gets it to the man going to the basket, Ray. And Ray on the layup try is fouled by Tommy Camerad. Coach Downey felt like 
Tommy got all ball on that blocked shot try, but the official says that he got him across the wrist. Foul on Tommy Camerad is his third personal foul. Team foul number three this half, and it sends C.J. Ray to the free throw line for two shots. Ray is three out of three from the free throw line today. Has a chance to get into double figures in scoring for the 16th time this season, but not on the first try. It is short, no good. Ray on the season is an 82% free throw shooter. His second attempt is also no good, and Tommy Camerad gets the defensive rebound. Arkansas Tech's one-point lead remains intact at 45-44 with 12-21 to go. Darrell Roberts passes on the right baseline for Wes Harris. We've got a whistle away from the ball. Oh, yeah. Hold. Southern Arkansas guilty of the push. Brock Schreiner gets his second personal foul. Team foul number three. B.J. Johnson returns for the Wonder Boys in place of Darrell Roberts. Yeah, he's got three fouls. B.J. Johnson, Wes Harris, Andre Lavelle, Tommy Camerad, and Taylor Peter are the five for Arkansas Tech. Inbound for Peter. He goes to the rim. Layup up and good. 23 points for Taylor Peter. For Taylor, it is the seventh time in his Arkansas Tech career that he has scored 20 or more points in a game. And the Arkansas Tech lead is three. On the other end, Black can't get the layup to go. The rebound is out of bounds, and it will stay with Southern Arkansas. It is now a 16 to nothing run for Arkansas Tech. Southern Arkansas has not scored in exactly six minutes. It was at the 18-01 mark that they took their lead to 44 to 31, and they haven't scored a point since. Arkansas Tech has answered with 16 points of its own. Layup try up and good. That ends the streak for Southern Arkansas. C.J. Ray with the bucket. He's got 11 points, 11.49 to go, and it's 47-46, a one-point lead for Arkansas Tech. Andre Lavelle spins past Black, feeds Wes Harris, uncontested slam dunk for the junior from Phoenix, Arizona, and it's 49-46, Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys are seven out of nine from the field in the second half, and with high percentage shots like that, it's yes, no wonder. That was very, very high percentage. Gregory Hammond gives in the corner for Weish. Weish dribbles left, takes it to the top of the key, gets downhill, kicks it out for Hammond. Hammond drives the baseline, runs into three defenders, and one of Bailed them. Bailed out. One of them fouled him. He was off balance and triple teamed. And they call a foul against Arkansas Tech. Taylor Peter gets his second personal foul. Team foul number four. And there's timeout at Tucker Coliseum. 11 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the second half. Arkansas Tech 49, Southern Arkansas 46. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home-styled lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurants on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you, so come on by Old South. Heinzman and Son Incorporated reminds you when you need new tires or auto repairs, Heinzman and Son has a well-trained staff to treat you like family, and their goal is always on customer service. It's the foundation of their business, which is why so many people in the River Valley call Heinzman and Son their tire shop. Find Heinzman and Son on Facebook, check out their reviews, and call 880-1222 to make an appointment today. Heinzman and Son, serving the River Valley for over 30 years and counting. This is our final home broadcast of the year. We'll be with you on the radio side next weekend from the GAC tournament, looking like noon on Friday for the Golden Suns and 5.45 p.m. Friday for the Wonder Boys, as they'll both be in the 4-5 games of the GAC tournament. But th since this is the last home game, it's also the last chance to participate in the video stream. And I just want to send along my congratulations and appreciation to Taylor Gomez and the entire team of student workers who put together the video streaming broadcast for your enjoyment. Each football and home football and home basketball game enjoy working with all of them, and they do a great job with the video streaming. I know that reaches a lot of parents and grandmas and grandpas who can't be here, and so we hope you enjoy that as much as we enjoy bringing it to you and the outstanding work by these Arkansas Tech students that makes it possible. Absolutely. Great job, team.
Gregory Hammond misses both free throws for Southern Arkansas. On the other end, a slam dunk for Nico Gosnell with 11.02 remaining. He takes the Taylor Peter pass and stuffs it through 51-46 Arkansas Tech. It is a 20 to two run for the Wonder Boys. Shades of the 22 to two run. The Golden Suns put together in game one of this doubleheader to win that one. Backing the defender down, Latraven Black, left-handed layup will not go. Defensive rebound by Nico Gosnell of Arkansas Tech. Southern Arkansas, just three of 15 from the field in the second half after they shot 54% in the first half. Left wing Peter, catch and shoot, three pointer, too strong. Offensive rebound, Gosnell, and Nico was fouled. Got a foul on Southern Arkansas after Gosnell got the offensive rebound. He was hacked across the arm by Latraven Black. Black's third personal foul. Team foul number four. Taylor Peter will throw it in for Arkansas Tech. I'm sitting there trying to think. I, I, I'm going to think every Southern Arkansas shot this, this half has been contested. And that's I don't why, think they've gotten any freebies. And that's why they've missed 12 out of 15 of them. Southern Arkansas goes zone here, at least at the beginning of the possession. Pass left wing for B.J. Johnson. Cross court to Tommy Camarad. Tommy can bust a zone. Top of the key, Taylor Peter. Gives it right side to B.J. Johnson. Pass is intercepted. Jerry Caraway steals the B.J. Johnson pass. Caraway coast to coast. Layup rejected by Johnson. Rebound Hammond. And on the putback try, Gregory Hammond is fouled. He will shoot two free throws. The foul is against B.J. Johnson of Arkansas Tech. That is his fourth personal foul. Team foul number five. And at the free throw line for Southern Arkansas, it'll be Gregory Hammond. It's a coachable moment right now for Coach Downey and B.J. First try for Hammond on its way and no good. Southern Arkansas, in addition yeah. to its struggles from the field, they've also gone ice cold from the free throw line now. 0 for 5 from the free throw line in the second half for Southern Arkansas. Sounds familiar for the Wonder Boys in the first half. SAU on the season is a 70% free throw shooting team. That ranks ninth among the 12 members of the Great American Conference. Darrell Roberts has replaced B.J. Johnson in the Arkansas Tech lineup. Second try for Hammond. With Arkansas Tech leading by five. The second free throw is woefully short. Offensive rebound, C.J. Ray stripped away from him. Ray able to save it. Gives to Rogers, back to Ray. And now the Wonder Boys will get set defensively in a man-to-man -man look. Right side, Hammond, defended by Lavelle. Cut off on the baseline. Throws it out to Caraway. Caraway, bounce pass to Hammond on the right wing. Hammond steps back for three. It is short, no good. Rebound tipped in by C.J. Wow. Ray. Athletic there. Ray able to tip it in. He's got 13 points, 9.38 to go, and the Arkansas Tech lead is three at 51 to 48. Andre Lavelle gives at the high post for Roberts. He turns to face the basket. Now a whistle, and probably going to have a hold on Southern Arkansas. It'll be the fifth team foul. Gregory Hammond is called for the foul. His second. And Taylor Peter will throw it in from the near sideline for Arkansas Tech. Gets it in easily to Andre Lavelle. Lavelle with two points, seven rebounds, and six assists here today. 2-3 zone defense. Gives to Camarad. Turnaround jumper. No good from eight feet. Tommy tries to get his own rebound, but cannot control it before it goes out of bounds on the baseline. And the basketball belongs to Southern Arkansas University. I'll get it back. Just get it back here on the defensive end. Over the timeline comes C.J. Ray. Guarded by Camerat. Gosnell hedges. Ball goes left wing for Hammond. Feed into the post for Jesse Davis. Knocks Nico Gosnell down. No whistle. And Jesse Davis, unguarded, able to hit the jump hook from the left side of the lane. They called Lavelle for that earlier for a charge. 51 to 50. Zone defense again for Southern Arkansas. Into the corner for Peter. Taylor and Peter for three. No good. Rebound. Southern Arkansas. Hammond able to get it and save it in to. to Caraway now on the fast break. The Mule Riders throw it away. Ray's pass too far in front of Blake Rogers deep in the right corner. It goes out of bounds off the Mule Riders. It is their 12th turnover of the game, their fourth of the second half. And the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech with 8.31 to go and the Wonder Boys in front 51 to 50. Well, 5 1 5 0 at Tucker Coliseum right now. Lavelle lobs it up. Nico Gosnell can't finish the alley oop, but he does get the ball. And on the putback try, he is fouled. And it'll be two free throws for Nico Gosnell. Nico on his way to the A Better Way Realty free throw line. It has not been a great exhibition in free throw shooting either way today. 
Arkansas Tech is four out of nine from the free throw line, 44%. Southern Arkansas, seven of 15, 47% from the line. Nico makes the first one. He is a career 54% free throw shooter. Nico had 12 points and two rebounds in the first game against Southern Arkansas a couple of months ago at the W.T. Watson Athletic Center. Made the first one. The second one is no good. And C.J. Ray cle clears the defensive rebound for SAU. 8.15 to go. Wonder Boys lead 52-50. to Caraway gets turned downhill into the lane. Acrobatic layup try goes for Jerry Caraway. He's got seven points, 8.06 to go. And we're right back where we started. The score is tied. Right side, Taylor Peter. Reverse it left wing for Roberts into the corner for Lavelle. Lavelle guarded by Davis, hands it off to Peter for three. It's short. Lavelle gets the offensive rebound, goes to the rim and scores. Andre Lavelle with the offensive rebound and the putback. 7.49 remaining, and Arkansas Tech leads 54-52. Caraway feeds Ray, couldn't handle the pass. Stolen by Camerad. Turnover, Southern Arkansas. The Wonder Boys edge ahead, plus one on the turnover margin. And now a chance for Arkansas Tech to add to its 54-52 lead with seven and a half minutes to go. Lavelle bounce pass to Roberts. Roberts for three from the top of the key. Goes halfway down, comes out, but he was fouled by C.J. Ray. The foul on Ray will be his second personal foul. It'll be team foul number six on the Mule Riders. And How did that not go in? Timeout on the floor. Seven minutes and 22 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech 54, Southern Arkansas 52 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for one minute plus a station ID. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. This is Todd, market president with Centennial Bank. We're more than just a financial institution. We pride ourselves on being community focused and connected. Hi, I'm Charlie, business development officer with Centennial Bank. As a lifelong resident of the River Valley, I am proud to be part of a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our communities. Supporting our community starts with people like myself and Charlie, who know and love the River Valley area, which is why we're always banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. NMLS number 564245, number FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The heater broke down, I had to act fast. Wiggled some wires, I broke the thermostat. My wife got cold and nose started to freeze. She said, hey man, got a call, actually, actuallyair.com. The heater breaks down, they're the one you want, actuallyair.com. The fast and the good and they got it going on. Technician showed up the very same day. Got the fix right and fast, he was on his way. Next time your heater breaks, you know who to call. There's only one choice, actuallyair.com. J.C. Darknell, Russell Bill. You guys play the best country of all. River Country. KCJC. Seven minutes and 22 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech 54, Southern Arkansas 52. Both teams have two timeouts left. Arkansas Tech has one foul to give before the bonus. SAU already over the limit. So Arkansas Tech is in the one and one now. Darrell Roberts is at the free throw line. This is a two-shot opportunity because he was in the act of shooting when he was fouled. He misses the first one. Darrell's first trip to the A Better Way Realty free throw line tonight. Actually shooting three, I forgot the circumstances. He's missed the first two of three as he was fouled shooting a three-pointer at the top of the key right before the under eight media timeout. Now a third try after missing the first two. He missed them all. And the defensive rebound is cleared by Chris Weish. Arkansas Tech is now five of 14 at the free throw line here today. Oh, let's, let's mark those down. Hope they don't come back. Blake Rogers. Passes in the corner for Weish. Feeds the post for Jesse Davis. He zips it out to Ray for three. It is no good. Rebound, Arkansas Tech. SAU now 6 of 21 from the field in the second half, including 1 of 7 from deep. Layup good for Darrell Roberts. Darrell redeems himself, getting the rebound on one end and going coast to coast for the layup. 56-52 Wonder Boys. 6.47 remaining. Weish feeds Davis. Davis guarded by Camerad. Goes up and gets the bounce. Jesse Davis has six points. He's three of five from the field. 6.39 to go. 56-54 Wonder Boys. Top of the key, Andre Lavelle. Gives right side to Camerad. Cross court to Darrell Roberts. Roberts surveys the 2-3 zone defense. Gives to Peter. Taylor Peter with it on the right wing. Brings it out front. Gives to Camerad. They swing it left side for Roberts. No look pass to Lavelle on the right wing. Out front for Camerad. Into the corner for Peter. Taylor for three. Got it! 
Kalen Feeder with his fifth Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer of the day. 28 points for Taylor Peter and a 59 to 54 lead for Arkansas Tech. Weish for three, he's got the answer. Chris Weish with the three-pointer for Southern Arkansas. 5.55 remaining. And it's right back down to a two-point lead for Arkansas Tech. 59-57. Darrell Roberts bounce pass to Peter at the free throw line. Talon out to Roberts. Roberts fakes left. Bounce pass for Peter. Deep three. Left wing. Short. Rebound. Nico. Gosnell tips it out, but Caraway gets the loose ball for Southern Arkansas. Five and a half minutes to go. Wonder Boys by two. Rogers passes top of the key for Weish. He lobs it in the corner for Ray. Out to Caraway. Caraway dribbles right. Three pointer for the lead is good. Left him open. Jerry Caraway with the three pointer from the top of the key with 5.16 remaining to give Southern Arkansas the lead back at 60 to 59. SAU has scored the last six points on back-to-back -back threes by Weish and Caraway. Talon for three, got it! Talon Feeder, the three-pointer from the left wing. Another Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer and a career high, 31 points. Now Darrell Roberts steals the ensuing inbound pass. A steal for Roberts in the backcourt and a bonus possession for Arkansas Tech with a 62 to 60 lead. Talon Peter with 31. He's 11 of 21 from the field and 6 of 13 from three. Drive by Lavelle, layup good. Andre Lavelle with the bucket, and Arkansas Tech wants timeout. Andre Lavelle scores, and with 4.34 remaining, it is Arkansas Tech 64, Southern Arkansas 60. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. What a day we have seen from the top scorers from Arkansas Tech. Earlier, we saw Jaylee Oglesby match her career high with 34 points in the Golden Suns victory. And now in the nightcap, we've seen Talon Peter with a career high 31. And for Talon, 21 of those 31 have come here in the second half. And Arkansas Tech leads 64 to 60 with four and a half minutes to go. The Wonder Boys have just one timeout left now. They set up the full court press. Southern Arkansas able to navigate it. Caraway into the front court. Gives to C.J. Ray, fakes the three, gives to Hammond. Hammond passes in the corner for an open Blake Rogers. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound, Rogers able to get his own. Rogers with it on the left wing, 18 to shoot. Across to an open Ray for three. It's in and out, no good. Rebound, put back by Latraven Black, no good. And Darrell Roberts gets it for Arkansas Tech. Long outlet for Cameron. Hit him in stride, and Tommy stuffs it through. What a pass by Darrell Roberts. The length of the court hit Tommy Camerad in stride in the middle of the lane, and Tommy stuffs it through to make it 66 to 60. Woo. What a pass. Great pass and great dunk. Left side, Hammond. Hammond gives on the right wing for Caraway. Caraway drives, feeds Black, layup, no good, tip, no good. Defensive rebound, Wes Harris. And the Wonder Boys go the other way on a 7 to nothing run with a 66 to 60 lead and three and a half minutes to go. Top of the key, Camerad. Gives left wing for Darrell Roberts. Cross court for B.J. Johnson. 2-3 zone defense right now for Southern Arkansas. Left side, Roberts. Throws it out to Lavelle. Shot clock at six. Lobbed to the rim. They foul Camerad. C.J. Ray fouled him. It'll be Ray's third. And it'll be free throws for Tommy Camerad when we come back. Timeout on the floor. Final media timeout at home this season. Three minutes and ten seconds to go. Arkansas Tech, 66. Southern Arkansas, 60. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, it's a one-minute break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. We have sort of a hidden gem right here in the Arkansas River Valley. Central Arkansas Surgical Center of Russellville. They're high on the hill at the intersection of Highway 7 
and Interstate 40. We're talking quality local surgeons in a variety of capacities who can help you when it comes time for surgery. It's not a hospital. It's a surgical center. Central Arkansas Surgical Center. Inquire today by logging on to centralarkansasurgical.com or call them at 967-1117. If your business's telephone system, alarm system, cabling, or even CCTV aren't up to date, your business is not secure. Tracer Communications is a one-stop shop for new and existing businesses that value honesty, hard work, and quality solutions so you can save time and money and focus on your business while they take care of your phone and security systems. And that saves you money and protects your investment. So call your local Tracer Communications at 890-6499 to set up an appointment or visit tracercoms.com for a full list of services today. Kelly, there are a few things in sports more beautiful than basketball played really well, and the Wonder Boys for the last 16 minutes and 50 seconds on both ends of the floor have played about as well as a team can play. Yeah, and they knew, I'm, I'm sure at halftime, that they knew they encouraged the, the, the players that you're going to win this game on the defensive end of the court. You've got to stop them from making the easy layups, second chance points, three points that were wide open, and they have done that. There's no doubt that they have. Switch gears this second half, and on offensively as well. Tommy Camerad with a one and one following the media time out the front end is good for Tommy Camerad. He is now one out of three from the free throw line tonight. Arkansas Tech as a team, six out of 15 at the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Tommy an 87% free throw shooter on the year. The second try is no good. Rebound, Southern Arkansas went through Taylor mm. Peters' hands. And Blake Rogers got the carom for SAU. Into the front court come the Mule Riders. A whistle and a foul on Arkansas Tech on the drive by Carraway. Lavelle, I think. Wonder Boys had a foul to give. Andre Lavelle picks up his third personal. Only the sixth team foul, so no free throws yet. And SAU will throw it in from the baseline. Three minutes and three seconds to go. Arkansas Tech right now on an eight to nothing run to grab this 67 to 60 lead. It was sparked by a three pointer by Taylor Peter, then a steal of the inbounds pass by Darrell Roberts and a layup by Andre Lavelle. Camerad has three points since then, including that phenomenal outlet pass from Darrell Roberts. Now Roberts rebounds and miss another outlet for Camerad. Tommy this time unable to track it down before Caraway pokes it away out of bounds. Arkansas Tech should have the basketball right here. Caraway pretty oh. clearly came in and poked it out of, what, out of bounds but the official's going to give it to Southern Arkansas. They should go to the monitor on this. Guys, we got the monitor. We got the monitor. We got the monitor. Man, they missed that one. They don't want to look at it. Southern Arkansas's basketball. 2.43 left. Arkansas Tech leading 67-60. to Top of the key, Hammond. Hammond guarded by Camerad. Drives to the rim. Left-handed layup up and good with 2.34 to go. And it's down to a five-point lead for Arkansas Tech. You hope that missed call yeah. doesn't prove to be a turning point. Camerad gives it left side for Taylor Peter. Taylor tries to get downhill, cut off by Schreiner. Now the ball goes right wing for Lavelle. Lavelle gets a pick from Harris, gives to Roberts. Durrell for three, too strong. Rebound Southern Arkansas. Brock Schreiner has it with two minutes and 12 seconds to go. And the Wonder Boys up by five. Left side to Rogers. Into the corner for Caraway. Caraway wants to drive, cut off by Lavelle and Roberts. Roberts strips it loose, out of bounds, and Southern Arkansas maintains possession with 19 on the shot clock and two minutes and two seconds remaining in regulation. Darrell Roberts is out. B.J. Johnson with four fouls is back in for Arkansas Tech. B.J. Johnson, Wes Harris, Taylor Peter, Tommy Camerad, Andre Lavelle, the five for Arkansas Tech. For Southern Arkansas, it's Blake Rogers, C.J. Ray, Gregory Hammond, Brock Schreiner, and Jerry Carraway. Inbound pass will be made by Rogers once they get the perspiration up off the floor. Kelly, any, Kelly anything really catching your eye on the GAC scoreboard? Well, we got a couple of Southeast Oklahoma came back to beat Northwest, 95 to 93. It is Washita 75, UA Monticello 61. That's a final as well. Inbound for Caraway. Caraway wants to drive, gets into the lane, lost the handle on the way up, stolen by Andre Lavelle. And now the Wonder Boys will slow it down at least for a moment. Now Lavelle sees an opportunity, takes it to the rim, and stuffs it through. Andre Lavelle had a notion to slow it down, but when he saw the Ooh, Mule Riders disorganized defensively, he took advantage. On the other end, Blake Rogers with the tip in for SAU, and the Mule Riders call timeout. A minute 42 remaining. 
Arkansas Tech 69, Southern Arkansas 64. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. One minute and 42 seconds to go in the second half. Arkansas Tech, 69. Southern Arkansas, 64. The Wonder Boys shooting 65% from the field in the second half, including 6 out of 11, 55% from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. Tommy Camarad, Andre Lavelle, Talon Peter, B.J. Johnson and Wes Harris are the five. Talon with a career-high 31 points today. He also has six rebounds and three assists. It'll be Lavelle to bring it over the timeline for Arkansas Tech. Up by five with a minute 36 to go. Left wing Johnson. Right-handed dribble. Gives it up to Peter on the right wing. He hands to Lavelle. Lavelle draws a double team. One of the defenders goes away. Hand off to Johnson. Johnson to Lavelle. Left side, 13 to shoot. Lavelle goes right to the top of the key. Now Lavelle backs it all the way out to midcourt. Here comes Wes Harris with the ball screen. Lavelle goes left. Lavelle runs over Blake Rogers, and they call Rogers for a blocking foul. Wonder Boys got the benefit of a 50-50 call there. Blake Rogers is called for his second personal foul. It is team foul number nine. And this will likely be a one and one for Andre Lavelle, and it will be. Got to make the front end to get the second. Andre's first trip to the line today. On the season from the A Better Way Realty free throw line, he is a 53% shooter. The front end of the one and one is no good. Rebound Southern Arkansas. A minute 15 to go. Mule Riders have the ball down by five. Hammond, left wing, looks to get downhill all the way to the basket. Layup try, no good. Rebound. Hammond gets his own, dribbles out down the baseline. Throws it out to Ray, to Schreiner, in the corner for Hammond. Hammond, right-handed dribble drive, spin move, feeds it in the lane for Davis. J Davis, jump hook, good, with 57 seconds left. Jesse Davis pulls the Mule Riders within three at 69-66. Need a good possession and a good shot right here. 50 seconds left. Wonder Boys up by three. Both teams have one timeout left. Bounce pass to Johnson on the right wing. BJ gives it out front for Camerad. Now to Lavelle on the left wing. Back to Camerad. Tommy dribbles right, defended by Ray. Shot clock at 10. Hand off to Peter. Talon dribbles to the top of the key. Not much going here. Hands it off to Lavelle. Five on the shot clock. Lavelle penetrates down the right side of the lane, leans in, shot blocked by Davis, and it'll be a shot clock violation against Arkansas Tech with 26.3 seconds remaining. Here comes Chris Weish into the game for some extra three-point shooting for Southern Arkansas. He will replace Jesse Davis, who is not a, th a threat from beyond the arc. And the Wonder Boys will set up full-court pressure. Arkansas Tech leads 69-66 with 26.3 seconds to go. It'll be Blake Rogers to make the inbound pass for SAU against full court pressure. Jerry Carraway will check in now for the Riders, replacing Rogers. They have well, gone to the monitor. About something. Maybe they're going to go back and look at that loose ball that they missed. I wish they could. <laughs> 26.3 seconds left. Arkansas Tech 69, Southern Arkansas 66. As the officials looking at the monitor here, maybe just a timing issue. In Weatherford, they've gone to overtime. Southern Nazarene and Southwest Oklahoma tied at 63. Southwest Oklahoma needs this win with the Washita win today. They moved to 9 and 13. Southwest Oklahoma at 8 and 13. I don't know how they did as far as heads up, so that's uh, battling for that last playoff spot or the tournament spot. The officials have completed their review. It looks like it was maybe a timing issue. I see Troy Norton going to the module there to update something. Instead of 26.3, they say 27 flat. 27 seconds remaining in regulation. Arkansas Tech leads 69-66. Southern Arkansas with the ball, and the Wonder Boys will apply full court pressure. Still a lot of time left here. SAU doesn't have to go for the three. They could try for the quick two, and then either a turnover or a foul. We'll see how they play it. Caraway into the front court. Dribbles on the right wing, drives, gets to the rim, layup try good with 19.3 seconds left. 
and Southern Arkansas uses its final timeout. We will keep it here. Now, I apologize. We'll take a 30-second break. 19.3 seconds left. Arkansas Tech leads 69-68. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Some thoughts about your home from Alathus Realty, Russellville. Many will tell you spring is the best time to sell. And if you've been considering putting your house on the market, why wait until spring when everyone else is on the market and you have more competition? Why not go on the market now when there's less competition and get more for your home? If you're ready to sell or you know someone who's thinking of selling, get in touch with the professionals at Alathus Realty, Russellville. Find them on Facebook. 19.3 seconds remaining in regulation. Arkansas Tech 69, Southern Arkansas 68. The Wonder Boys have one timeout left. Southern Arkansas has exhausted its supply of timeouts. Both teams are in the bonus. The next Southern Arkansas foul will put Arkansas Tech into the two shot, the double bonus, and that could be a big factor, especially as, as much as both teams have struggled at the free throw line today. Tommy Camerad, B.J. Johnson, Andre Lavelle, Wes Harris, and Talon Peter are the five for Arkansas Tech. If I failed to mention it, the best possession arrow would favor the Mule Riders in the event of a held ball. Arkansas Tech by one with 19.3 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech trying to get its most conference wins in a season in six years. SAU trying to get its most conference wins in the history of its Division II era dating back to the mid-90s. Inbound pass for Talon Peter. Peter, 17 seconds left. Bounce pass across to Camerad. Camerad had it deflected in the backcourt by Hammond. Loose ball. Camerad able to save it ahead to Lavelle, and they wrap up Lavelle. They foul Lavelle, or did they get the 10 second oh, count first? Oh, he's going to come and argue that it's 10 second call it's either a foul on, that foul. It's either a foul on SAU or a 10 second call against Arkansas Tech. You've also got to determine was there a change of possession down here when Southern Arkansas very nearly stole it? That would wipe out the possibility of a 10 second count. The officials are talking it over. They may go to the monitor again with nine seconds remaining and Arkansas Tech leading 69-68. They're going to go to the monitor to determine whether or not it is a foul against Southern Arkansas or if the Wonder Boys were guilty of a 10-second count in the backcourt before the foul. Right now, the call on the floor is foul is what the officials are saying, and so they would have to have evidence to overturn foul is what they are telling head coach Logan Quinn of Southern Arkansas. Here with nine seconds left in this ball game and a very big video replay review, this game, you know, it'd be great to win it from a momentum standpoint for the Wonder Boys. It doesn't mean nearly as much from a seeding perspective to Arkansas Tech as it does to Southern Arkansas. The Wonder Boys, pride right now. Wonder Boys, to my knowledge, are locked into either the four or the five seed, and it, that doesn't really make any difference just which jerseys you wear in the first round game. For Southern Arkansas, it could make a big difference for them in trying to get that number yes. two seed. Yes, because uh, Southeast Oklahoma has already won their game today, so they've improved to 15 and seven. Southern Arkansas at 14 and seven right now. Nine seconds left as all three officials taking a look at the monitor across the way with Arkansas Tech leading 69-68. The Wonder Boys led this game 67-60 with 3-10 left. Shortly after that, there was a controversial call on the baseline. It was ruled out of bounds off Arkansas Tech despite the fact that it looked like Caraway was the last one to touch it. And that call gave Southern Arkansas some momentum and has allowed them to get back into this game now at 69-68 with nine seconds left. The officials have concluded their review, and they are saying... I think they're going to let the foul stand, it looks like. They're saying foul on Latraven Black. Black commits his fourth personal foul, and it is team foul number 10, and so it'll be two free throws for Arkansas Tech with 9.4 seconds left. Andre Lavelle will be the free throw shooter for Arkansas Tech, 0 for 1 from the line today. He has six points, eight rebounds, and seven assists. He receives the basketball in the first of two free throws. This is a two shot. The first one is up and good. The official on the near side was saying one and one. It doesn't matter because he made the first one. He'll have one more. 70 to 68 is the Arkansas Tech lead with 9.4 seconds to go. An opportunity now to make it a three point lead for Arkansas Tech. The second free throw for Lavelle is good. He got a friendly bounce. 
And Arkansas Tech leads by three. SAU out of timeouts. Got to go. Into the front court, Caraway. Six seconds left. Caraway drives. Dishes to Weish. Three pointer to tie is good with 2.1 seconds remaining. Chris Weish from deep in the right corner. And Arkansas Tech will use its final timeout with 2.1 seconds left. And the score tied at 71 on the Chris Weish three pointer at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings, and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479 272 40 69. As of right now, 2.1 seconds remaining in regulation. The officials are back to the monitor to determine how much time should be left. The three-pointer by Chris Weish from deep in the right corner. Wonder Boy's a little slow on the rotation, slow on the closeout, and it left Weish open enough to knock down his fourth three-pointer of the day. Weish now four out of five from three-point range. They could also be checking to double sh double check and make sure it was a three for Weish. That's another possibility if I want to engage in some wishful thinking here. Yeah, well, those corners are pretty narrow over there with that line and the out-of-bounds line. So, But more than likely, it's just about a timing issue. Yes. Right now, the clock shows 2.1 seconds. The score is tied at 71. And let's see what they've got. I think they're going to leave it right where it is. No, I thought I heard him say, yeah, he said 2.7. 2.7 is what they put the clock at. The I, wonder think, uh, they, I think Pete Kelly uh, said 2.7 before they looked, and they, and they, they gave him uh, the thumbs up that he got it right. If everybody had a Pete Kelly, we could just throw out the monitors. Pete that's, knows. No, that's true. So the Wonder Boys have to go the length of the floor with 2.7 seconds remaining. The score tied at 71. And let's see if the Wonder Boys can execute here and send them with a memory on the final day of the regular season. Darrell Roberts. Will make the inbound pass. Gets to Lavelle at midcourt to Talon. Talon into the front court. Drives. Bank shot is no good. And we go to overtime. Perfectly executed. It just didn't go in. And we get five minutes of extra basketball on the final day of the regular season. We're tied at 71 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It is a 30-second break. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. At Fleet Tire Point S, the S stands for service, selection, and savings. Fleet Tire knows the importance of a handshake and the significance of a referral. That will never change. At Fleet Tire Point S, you'll still find the same local owners, friendly service, and guarantees on warranties. Fleet Tire Point S consistently offers unparalleled service and quality tires to fit every budget. Because you, the customer, are always a top priority at Fleet Tire Point S. So come by today and experience the Fleet Tire Point S difference. No stress. With point S. Five minutes on the clock, Kelly, and we go to overtime at Tucker Coliseum. We go to overtime, and it, you know, goes back to that one thing that we uh, we talked about earlier is that uh, change of possession where Southern Arkansas did score on that change of possession. You know, we really thought from this angle, we thought we weren't even close to the ball and touched and got it, and they knocked it out of bounds. But either way, it's overtime now. You look at the foul trouble, of course, when you get to overtime for Arkansas Tech. B.J. Johnson has four fouls. No one else for Arkansas Tech has accumulated more than three. For Southern Arkansas, the only player with four fouls is Latraven Black. Andre Lavelle, Taylor Peter, Wes Harris, Darrell Roberts, and B.J. Johnson are the five for Arkansas Tech. Chris Weish, who hit the three to send us into overtime, along with Brock Schreiner, Latraven Black, Gregory Hammond, and C.J. Ray are the five for Southern Arkansas. And here we go to overtime on the final day of the regular season. It'll be Hammond against Harris for the opening tip. And we are ready for overtime. The ball is in the air and it'll be controlled by Southern Arkansas. Brock Schreiner brings it into the front court. Schreiner hasn't scored today, he has three assists. He drives all the way to the cup and misses the layup. Rebound, out of bounds, off Taylor and Peter. And it'll belong to Southern Arkansas with four minutes and 50 seconds left in overtime. And the score tied at 71. 
Golden Suns won earlier today. They will play at noon on Friday in the first round of the GAC tournament. The Wonder Boys, regardless of this outcome, will play at 5.45 p.m. on Friday in the first round of the conference tournament. Inbound for Ray. Right wing three is short, no good. Offensive rebound, Black. Put back, no good. Second put back try by Hammond, no good. Rebound, Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys in transition. Lavelle down the right side of the lane. Circles around into the corner. Defended by Hammond, 22 on the shot clock, 4.33 left in overtime. Score tied at 71. Lavelle gets the high ball screen from Wes Harris. Gives it to Roberts at the top of the key. Darrell Roberts, guarded by Black, looks to drive. Steps back from 17, got it! Darrell Roberts knocks down the jumper, and Arkansas Tech leads 73-71 in overtime. Schreiner on the right wing. Harris hedges. Lavelle back on him, pass in the corner for Hammond. Hammond runs over Darrell Roberts, no whistle. Now to Schreiner at the top of the key. Schreiner penetrates, feeds Black, and Black on the layup try is fouled. It'll be two free throws for Latraven Black. You wonder why that's not a charge, or at least a block, or call something, huh? Well, I mean, I don't know. play on. It's I think Coach Logan Quinn has a, has a, a relevant question as well. It pretty well either has to be a, fa a foul or a flop. As Darrell slid all the way across they, the floor. I think they, they forgot the flop. flop out the window. They yeah. don't call that anymore. That was a November rule, <laughs> as many of those points of emphasis are each year. About the first week, of, maybe 10 days. They are taking a moment to wipe up some perspiration before Latraven Black steps to the free throw line. Black with five points and eight rebounds today. He is one out of two from the free throw line. Black, a 57% free throw shooter on the year. And he will be shooting two with 3.57 to go. And Arkansas Tech leading 73-71. The first of two is good for Latraven Black. Southern Arkansas now 8 of 16 at the free throw line as a team today. Schreiner is out. Caraway is in for SAU. Caraway has almost an identical game to Aaron Lucas, who was the point guard at Southern Arkansas for so many years. He just pretty well replaced Lucas with Caraway, just put him right into that slot. Second free throw is no good. The Wonder Boys maintain a one-point lead at 73-72 with 3.53 remaining. Right wing, Talon Peter. Gives it on the baseline for Wes Harris. Lobbed to the rim. Uh, incomplete. Stolen by Jerry Carraway of Southern Arkansas. Mule Riders push it. Ahead for Black on the right baseline. Cut off by Talon Peter. Shot clock at 22. Latraven Black drives and dishes for Hammond. Hammond passed up a three. Hands it off to Weish. Left-handed pass to the left wing for... C.J. Ray. Ray feeds the post for Black. Spin move. Ball fake. Goes up. No good. Whistle foul. Foul will be on Wes Harris of Arkansas Tech. Harris's first personal foul. And it'll be two shots for Latraven Black. Team foul number eight. This will be a two-shot opportunity for the Mule Riders. Black two out of four at the free throw line today. The first of two is no good. He'll have one more opportunity to tie the score here with three minutes right. and 23 seconds to go. Old school. Let's block out and rebound. Black receives the basketball, and he will try to tie the score. It is no good. Defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech by Darrell Roberts, and the Wonder Boys go the other direction, still up by one with 3.15 to go in overtime. Andre Lavelle, drive, spin move, to the rim, left-handed layup, will not go, tip no good. Harris fights for the rebound, tips it to Johnson, out to Roberts, steps into a three, good! Darrell Roberts with the Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer from the left wing, and the Wonder Boys lead by four, 76-72. Caraway to the rim, no good. Wes Harris forced the miss and rebounded it. Outlet for Roberts, Roberts to Talon, slam dunk, alley-oop, alley-oop, timeout Southern Arkansas. Two minutes and 47 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech 78, Southern Arkansas 72. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, it's a 30 <laughs> second break. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Mr. Break and Lube, your local Pennzoil 10 minute oil change super stop at 1415 East Main Street, has the best brand name oils like Mobile One, Castrol, Motorcraft, Rotella, and Quaker State without breaking the bank. Plus, specials to save even more. Come by 1415 East Main Street when you need an oil change or repair work from your local one stop maintenance shop you can count on. Mr. Break and Lube, and follow Mr. Break and Lube on Facebook to keep up with monthly specials. 
Kelly has a final score from the Pioneer Cellular Event Center. We'll get that from him in just a moment. Two minutes and 47 seconds left in Russellville. Arkansas Tech has outscored Southern Arkansas seven to one so far in overtime. In this overtime period, Arkansas Tech three out of five from the field, including a Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer. Southern Arkansas 0 for four from the field in overtime. And the Wonder Boys up by six with 2.47 remaining. And here is Kelly with that final score from Weatherford. From Weatherford, it's final now. Southern Naz, 77. Southwest Oklahoma, 75. So with that, Southwest Oklahoma drops to 8 and 14 in conference play. Washita at 9 and 13. So I am saying right now, I think I'm right. They will be the number eight seed in the GAC tournament, Washita Baptist. I've never doubted you, Kelly. But just in case, <laughs> go to Great American Conference. Great American Conference.com. <laughs> That'll be the official word. Go to championship tab and find the basketball tournament. 2.44 left in overtime. Arkansas Tech leads 78-72. Southern Arkansas with the basketball. Carraway on the dribble in the front court. Defended by Lavelle. Gets a ball screen from Jesse Davis. Drive and dish. Hammond for three. Good. Gregory Hammond from the left corner with 2.32 remaining. Slices the Arkansas Tech lead in half. It's 78-75 Wonder Boys after the Hammond three. Got to guard him. Hammond with 19 points. That's his fourth three-pointer. Right wing B.J. Johnson gives it out front for Darrell Roberts to Lavelle on the left wing. 18 to shoot. 2.13 left in overtime. Wonder Boys by three. Right wing Peter. Defended by C.J. Ray. Taylor with a career-high 33 points here today. Harris sets the ball screen. Lavelle stops at the top of the key. Hesitation move. Goes again. Spin move. Loses the defender. Shoots and misses. Rebound. Loose on the baseline. Lavelle gets it. He takes it out to the perimeter. Lavelle dribbles on the right wing with 18 to shoot. And a minute 49 left in the overtime. Gives to Taylor Peter. Peter on the Tech logo at midcourt. Last time we'll see that logo on the floor here at Tucker Coliseum. It'll be replaced by the new outline of the state of Arkansas logo when next season begins. Lavelle goes right. Out to Taylor. Three-pointer is no good. Defensive rebound by Southern Arkansas. Taken away by Gregory Hammond. A minute 27 to go. Arkansas Tech leading 78-75. Play some D here. Top of the key, Davis. Hands it off to Hammond. Hammond guarded by Peter. Goes left. Gives it in the corner for Ray. 14 to shoot, a minute 13 left in overtime. Arkansas Tech leading 78-75. Caraway, not sure where to go with the basketball. Gets it right back from Ray. Shot clock at three, deep three-pointer is good with a minute one to go. Caraway with the shot clock expiring, flings it up and it goes in. And the score is tied at 78 in overtime. Back-to-back three-pointers for Southern Arkansas have given us the tie. It is the sixth tie of the day. We've had seven lead changes. Lavelle at the free throw line, lobs it up for Harris. Harris makes the catch out to Peter. Back to Lavelle at the top of the key. 14 to shoot, 37 seconds left in overtime. Score tied at 78. Lavelle on Davis. Bounce pass is stolen by Southern Arkansas. Blake Rogers makes the steal. The shot clock and the game clock are essentially identical. If the Mule Riders want to, and I think they do, they can hold for the final shot of overtime. No timeouts for SAU. Caraway dribbles just inside the timeline, defended by Lavelle. 13 seconds left in overtime. Score tied at 78. Lavelle with pressure on the basketball. Seven seconds left. Score tied. Caraway between the legs dribble. Caraway defended by Lavelle. Steps back. Gives right wing. Hammond three at the buzzer. No good. And we go to double overtime at Tucker Coliseum. Tied at 78. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we take a 30-second break. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info, and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person, or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy changing our world one student at a time. Before we go to the second overtime, we look to Kelly Davis for a GAC scoreboard update. And Kelly, those 5.30 p.m. women's games are getting started. If this goes on much longer, we'll be able to provide updates from yeah, those. Yeah, they're getting ready to tip. Well, actually, they probably already have tipped off if they are on time, and we'll try to pull those up for you. 
But all the finals so far on the men's side, uh, it was Washita 75, UA Monticello 61, Southern Nazarene 77 over Southwest Oklahoma 75 in overtime. So that secures the number eight seed for Washita Baptist. And it is Southeast Oklahoma defeating Northwest Oklahoma 95 to 93. A lot, a lot of close games today on the men's side so far. So we go to double overtime. Here's the scenario as far as timeouts are concerned. Each overtime period, you are granted an additional timeout. The Wonder Boys never used their timeout in the first overtime. And so Arkansas Tech will have two timeouts for double overtime. Southern Arkansas did use its timeout in the first extra period. And so Southern Arkansas will have one timeout. And it'll be Nico Gosnell to jump center for Arkansas Tech. The opening tip is in the air. Gregory Hammond jumping for Southern Arkansas. The Mule Riders control it, and C.J. Ray brings it into the front court. We are tied at 78 as we begin the second overtime at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. These two teams not ready for the regular season to end just yet. Blake Rogers, a little bunny hop, then he drives the baseline, throws it out left wing for Caraway. Shot clock at 12. Caraway nearly lost his footing, gets into the lane, tough 12-foot jumper, and he made it. 4.35 left in double overtime, and Jerry Carraway puts Southern Arkansas in front, 80 to 78. Carraway with 17 points. Left wing, Roberts gives to Talon Peter at the top of the key. Talon dribbles, guarded by Blake Rogers. Shot clock at 15, 4.16 left in double overtime. SAU leads 80 to 78. Drive by Peter, bounce pass intended for B.J. Johnson, stolen by C.J. Ray. He needed to shoot the ball that time. Arkansas Tech commits its 17th turnover. Hammond with it on the right wing for SAU. Guarded by Darrell Roberts. We go under four minutes left in double overtime. Hammond drives in the lane, shot up, and good for Hammond. Hammond has 21 points. Three minutes and 50 seconds to go. Southern Arkansas has scored the first four points of double overtime, and the Mule Riders lead 82-78. to Now Andre Lavelle taking a moment to tie his shoe in the backcourt. Now the Wonder Boys will get into their offense as Lavelle rejoins the situation. Right side for Talon Peter. They reverse it left side for Johnson. Back to Roberts. Now Talon takes it on the left wing. Wants to drive behind the back dribble. Gets into the lane. Puts it off the glass. No good. Rebound tipped out to Andre Lavelle. Shot clock's at one. Nobody knows it. Shot clock expires. The shot clock did not reset. And now a conversation between the officials as to whether or not the shot attempt a moment ago by Talon Peter drew iron. They're going to talk it over with 3.18 remaining in double overtime and Southern Arkansas leading 82 to 78. Looks like they will go to the monitor. I think even a Southern Arkansas player was circling his finger like, yeah, he probably should have reset. While they check this out, we pause 30 seconds at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. The folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air want to take a moment not only to thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family whole house comfort. Every kind word that you put online and personal recommendation to your friends and family is appreciated. Customers like you are not only vital to their business, but vital to making our community as great as it is. From their family to yours, thank you. From Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. Got to get a stop here, Sam. Upon further review, they have ruled a shot clock violation was the correct call against Arkansas Tech. Southern Arkansas with the basketball. Three minutes and 18 seconds left in the second overtime. SAU leading 82-78. to Into the front court on the dribble. Comes Latraven Black. He hands it off to Gregory Hammond. Now Ray makes a catch on the right wing. He dribbles to the top of the key, defended by Taylor Peter. Bounce pass to Caraway. Slipping a screen, Black takes the bounce pass, Black. He drives, runs over Taylor Peter. Offensive foul on Latraven Black, and I believe that'll be the end of the day for him. Latraven Black will foul out with exactly three minutes left in double overtime, and he'll be replaced by a much less dynamic scorer for Southern Arkansas on average, Jesse Davis. And the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech, and credit Taylor Peter, who has to be exhausted. Taylor has played 44 minutes here today, and he stepped up to take a charge that Arkansas Tech very much needed. Three minutes left in double overtime. SAU leads by four. Peter, we need to score here. Peter hands it off to Lavelle. Lavelle passes to Roberts. Roberts floats it up to the rim. Off the rim, he was trying an alley-oop with Nico Gosnell. Instead, it hit the goal. 
And SAU out of there with the loose ball with 2.43 remaining. Caraway into the front court. Caraway with 17 points and five rebounds here today. Here comes Davis with the ball screen. Caraway goes right. Gosnell takes him on the switch. They pass on the baseline for Ray. C.J. Ray defended by Talon Peters. Spin move. Lost his footing. Nico Gosnell gets the loose ball. Outlet for Andre Lavelle. Lavelle into the front court. Three on two. Gives to Johnson. Layup is good for B.J. With 2.17 remaining in double overtime. The Wonder Boys are back within two at 82-80. to Stop. Let's get a stop. Caraway over midcourt, defended by Nico Gosnell. Thought about a deep three, instead gives left wing for Hammond. Two minutes left in double overtime. Southern Arkansas leads 82-80. Rogers into the lane on the dribble drive, and he's fouled on the way up. Looked like B.J. Johnson might have got his hand on the basketball for a possible held ball, but instead they call the foul. And that'll be it for B.J. He fouls out with seven points. One rebound and two assists. And he'll be replaced by Tommy Camerad with a minute 54 to go. Blake Rogers to the free throw line for the first time today for Southern Arkansas. Rogers is an 82% free throw shooter this year. 81% for his career. First one is no good. Now say that again, Sam. Blake Rogers, an 81% career free throw shooter. SAU as a team now, 8 out of 20 at the free throw line today. Not very good. Second try is good. 154 to go. SAU leads by 3, 83 to 80. Lavelle over the timeline. He'll be checked by Caraway. Passes left side for Camerad. Back to Lavelle. He lost the handle. It's stolen by Blake Rogers. Lavelle pokes it away from him, out of bounds. But SAU will have the basketball with a minute 43 to go on another Arkansas Tech turnover. It is the 20th turnover of the game for Arkansas Tech. Since the end of regulation, the Wonder Boys have committed six turnovers. Southern Arkansas has only committed one, and we're going to go back to the monitor, getting our money's worth on that monitor. Kelly, you got any GAC scoreboard updates for us? No. Okay. I've got nothing. <laughs> the other two games, uh, well, I haven't yet to go to the women's side to pull up the... Well, uh, you weren't anticipating that. Let's. I let's, was not. <laughs> I can't say that I blame you. We want to, I, I figured I'd be at home eating supper by now. That was definitely the plan. We want to remind you that the Golden Suns will be in action at the GAC tournament on Friday. Noon will be the game time for the Arkansas Tech women as the Golden Suns will be taking on either Oklahoma Baptist or Washita Baptist. That's noon on Friday from Fire Lake Arena in Shawnee, Oklahoma for the Golden Suns. First game from the GAC tournament. Arkansas Tech's women built some... Momentum for the postseason today with a 95-87 to win over Southern Arkansas. Jaylee Oglesby had 34 points and 17 rebounds in the win. Kaylee Shipman had 20 points. And, a, and from memory, I think Alex Hill ended up with 18 points in the ballgame today for the Golden Suns. The Wonder Boys will play at 5.45 p.m. on Friday in the first round of the GAC tournament, also from Fire Lake Arena in Shawnee. So radio coverage on River Country, KCJC, 102.3 FM at noon on Friday and 5.45 p.m. on Friday for Arkansas Tech basketball from the GAC tournament. Southern Arkansas with the ball following the video review, which apparently did not overturn anything. Caraway into the front court. Wonder Boys could really use a stop right here. Caraway throws it along the baseline, out of bounds, and they say a Wonder Boy touched it. They say Darrell Roberts got a hand on it and deflected it out. And so SAU will throw it in with 17 on the shot clock and a minute 31 left in double overtime with the Mule Riders in front, 83 to 80. Inbound for Jesse Davis. Hands it back to Caraway. Now Hammond. Hammond guarded by Roberts. 10 to shoot, steps back for three. It's short, no good. Roberts with the defensive rebound. Wonder Boys have it down by three. A minute 19 to go. We are in double overtime. Lavelle gets to the right block, working on Caraway. Backs him down. Goes in for the layup try, can't get it to go, but he does draw the foul on Caraway. Jerry Caraway called for his second personal foul. And Andre Lavelle to the free throw line where he is two out of three today. Andre is closing in on a triple double. An occasion that has only happened a handful of times in the history of Wonder Boys basketball. Lavelle today with eight points, 12 rebounds, and eight assists. There have only been three triple doubles in Arkansas Tech men's basketball history, one by Dustin Smith in 2003, one by Laith Massey in 2011, and one by Clarence Willard in 2015. 
First free throw, no good for Andre Lavelle. He'll have another try. 1-11 left in double overtime. The second free throw is also no good. Rebound is out of bounds. Last touch by Tommy Camerad. And two more missed free throws to add to the collection for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys are 8 out of 21 from the free throw line today. And whoever loses this game is going to circle that free throw category. Inbound for Carraway. Carraway will bring it up for SAU with just over a minute to go in double overtime. And the Mule Riders leading 83-80. Arkansas Tech pretty desperate for a stop. Carraway dribbles just inside the timeline. Goes left. 13 on the shot clock. 52 seconds left in double overtime. Carraway gets downhill, feeds Davis. Davis is shot blocked by Camerad. And they're going to call Tommy for a foul. Wow. A lot, a lot, a lot of ball. Fourth personal foul on Tommy Camerad. And it'll be two free throws with 47.7 seconds remaining for Jesse Davis. Davis is seven out of nine at the free throw line this year, 78%. He is a career 72% free throw shooter. He has eight points so far today. His first free throw of the game is good with 47.7 seconds left in, in double overtime. And Southern Arkansas now owns a two possession lead. Chance for Jesse Davis to push it to a five-point lead. In his fourth year with the Mule Riders, appearing in his 99th game at Southern Arkansas today. The second free throw is no good. Defensive rebound, Nico Gosnell. Wonder Boys have the ball down by four. 44 seconds left in double overtime. Talon Peter with it on the right wing, defended by Schreiner. Gives to Gosnell. Reversal left wing for Lavelle. Lavelle gives to Camerad on a pick and pop. Tommy passes back to Lavelle on the left wing. 15 on the shot clock. 30 seconds left in double overtime. Lavelle to the rim. Layup try, no good. Defensive rebound, Jesse Davis. And the Wonder Boys foul him with 26.2 seconds left in double overtime. And SAU going to the free throw line up by four. A very fine defensive possession there by Southern Arkansas as they have done a great job denying the basketball to Taylor and Peter here really in both overtime periods. To my recollection, I think Taylor only has two points since the end of regulation. And that is true. Southern Arkansas have been able to turn off his water after he had a career-high 33 points here today. Just not letting him have the basketball in these critical situations. Davis misses the first free throw. Hope lives for Arkansas Tech. He'll have another try with Southern Arkansas leading 84-80. The Wonder Boys have two timeouts if they need one. The second free throw for Jesse Davis is... No good, rebound Taylor Peter. Wonder Boys the other way, down by four. 23 seconds left in double overtime. Lavelle with the basketball, goes to his right. Gives to Camerad, Tommy, three-pointer, got to have it. No good, rebound, out of bounds, off Southern Arkansas, I believe. And so the Wonder Boys are still alive with 13.9 seconds left. Southern Arkansas leading 84-80 in double overtime from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Andre Lavelle will make the inbound pass. Lavelle looking, gives to Camerad, left baseline jumper, good, and a foul! Tommy knocks it down from 12 feet on the left side, and he's on his way to the A Better Way Realty free throw line for one shot with 12.5 seconds remaining, and the Wonder Boys down by two. What a clutch play by Tommy Camerad. Absolutely great concentration. Get this free throw, and then you still got a chance. Cannot let them have a three down on their end. Put them on the line, make them earn it. Camerad and, have a shot. Camerad an 87% free throw shooter on the year. His free throw is good. Cade Schaefer in for Arkansas Tech, replacing Andre Lavelle. Lavelle has four fouls, can't have him foul out. Wes Harris replaces Nico Gosnell. Chris Weish in for some extra free throw shooting for SAU. 12.5 seconds left. The Southern Arkansas lead is one, 84-83 in double overtime. Inbound pass. Comes to the near side for Carraway. 11 seconds left. Wonder Boys trap him. Talon tried to tie it up, but he's called for a foul instead. And it'll send Jerry Carraway to the free throw line for two shots with 9.5 seconds left in double overtime. The best Carraway can do is make it a three-point lead, though. And so Hope very much alive here for Arkansas Tech. They march it down to the other end, and Carraway will be the shooter. Now, remember, Carraway has that Unusual style where he stands all the way over to the right side of the free throw line. 
9.5 seconds left. The first of two for Caraway is way short, no good. Caraway's first miss from the free throw line today, he's two out of three. Southern Arkansas is 10 of 26 at the free throw line today. A second try forthcoming with 9.5 seconds remaining. Lavelle back in, Schaefer out for Arkansas Tech. Caraway, a second free throw opportunity. It is good. Wonder Boys don't call timeout. Down by two. Inbound pass for Lavelle. Lavelle over the timeline. Now Arkansas Tech will use its timeout. 6.8 seconds left. Southern Arkansas leads 85 to 83 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at A Better Way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at A Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with A Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A Better Way Realty. Real estate done a better way. 6.8 seconds left in double overtime. Southern Arkansas 85, Arkansas Tech 83. The Wonder Boys in possession of the basketball. Both teams have one timeout left. Both teams are long since into the double bonus. If the possession arrow became a factor, it would favor the Wonder Boys. And Kelly, Taylor, Peter got a look at it to try to win it at the end of regulation. And I think he's about to get a chance to redeem himself here in double OT. Yeah, let's see what happens here. You know, I would, I would imagine the coaching staff is telling them if the three's not, let's just take the best shot available and let's hope it's a three. And let's just see how, the, how it falls. 6.8 seconds left in double overtime. Southern Arkansas 85, Arkansas Tech 83 on the final day of the regular season. Andre Lavelle, Darrell Roberts, Tommy Camerad, Wes Harris, and Taylor Peter for Arkansas Tech. It'll be Taylor to make the inbound pass from right in front of us with 6.8 seconds left in double overtime. Southern Arkansas by two. And here we go. Peter receives the basketball. Looking, gives to Roberts. Five seconds left, Roberts dribbles right, Roberts dribbles left into the lane, pivots, goes up, Lavelle takes the ball, misses the layup, and we, it's that was over. A foul. It's that over. It was a blatant foul, and they didn't call it. Oh, Southern mercy. Arkansas survives. Andre Lavelle took the loose ball after the contact, and Andre was all alone at the basket with a layup to tie it, but it did not go in, and Southern Arkansas wins. Our final score in Russellville, SAU 85, Arkansas Tech 83 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for 30 seconds and then come back to talk it over with Coach Downey. Wonder Boys lose. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at C&D Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need C&D Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60-year tradition. Final score at Tucker Coliseum in double overtime. Southern Arkansas 85, Arkansas Tech 83. The Wonder Boys conclude the regular season 14 and 14 overall, 12 and 10 in the Great American Conference. Southern Arkansas goes to 19 and 9 overall and 15 and 7 in the league. And we are joined now by Mark Downey, head coach of the Wonder Boys. And coach, this group has, has won 14 games this year, came up on the short end today. But in any of those 14 wins, I haven't been more proud of this group than especially what we saw in the second half, I wondered aloud after halftime, how can the Wonder Boys overcome SAU's athleticism? Because it looked like SAU was just the better team today. And I'm so proud of the effort your young men gave in the second half and overtime. Yeah, I'm sure I'll feel that way tomorrow. Yeah, I understand. Um, we had the game won two different times and give it away. And just it's not listening in the huddle. Just, yeah, we battled back and we played hard and we made some big plays and Taylor was great. Um, but just... Down the stretch, you need guys to listen, guys to execute. And we came out of, came out of huddles and timeouts and didn't, didn't execute. You know, left shooters wide open. And um, it just, I, it's who we've been this year. It's so frustrating. Um, 
but now it's a new season. So um, I hope we come with that fight on uh, on Friday down there in uh, Shawnee. Maybe the most critical of those lapses came right at the very begin, beginning of the second overtime. SAU got back-to-back -back buckets there in the first minute of the second overtime. And once you get down two possessions in an overtime period, your, your win likelihood just goes way down just because there's so few possessions left in the game. Yeah, well, they did, though. Yeah, yes, true. They were down six with two minutes to go in regulation yeah. and overtime. Yeah. And we make mistakes and let them make shots. And I don't understand. I, it, but, yeah, you're right. It just once you get down, it's hard to get that back. And um, we kept battling. And then, had, I mean, we just, I don't know, we have a layup at the end to win the game or to tie the game and it just missed the whole rim. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's just, just what it is. Um, I can't explain it, um, but we'll keep battling, and we're going to get ready for East Central, and um, we just need to win a game like that, you know. Um, need to win a game like that. That gets your confidence going. You win that game, you roll into the conference tournament with a lot of, a lot of confidence, so somehow I've got to generate that now. <laughs> well, I know you can do it. Yeah. Coach, thank you very much for the, the visit, and we'll look forward to seeing you in Shawnee. Thank you. I appreciate it. All glory to God. That is Mark Downey, the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech University following an 85-83 to double overtime loss here today to Southern Arkansas. Let's take a look at the final numbers. The Mule Riders were 31 of 71 from the floor. That's 44%, including 12 of 27 from three-point range. That's also 44%. Neither team, it, just, it was not, not a great day at the free throw line. If you, if you enjoy good free throw shooting, today was not your day. Uh, Southern Arkansas was 11 out of 27 at the free throw line. 41%. Arkansas Tech today, 32 of 69 at the free throw line. 46 per, or, sorry, Let me take that back. Whoa, that's a lot that's of That's a lot of free throws. throws. How about 32 of 69 from the field? 46% today for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys were 10 of 26 from the Mr.